Yes, we did, actually, just now. Right uh, right now, as of this moment? As of this exact moment. Hi, everybody. We are playing some D&D &D today. Uh, sorry about last week. I was ill and therefore unable to think, let alone do DM, DM maths and things like that. I think I too many English people. I said maths. Oof. All right, so um, we're, <laughs> uh, we're playing I'm not sure D &D. that's their fault. Oh, it is. They insist on it. It's maths because there's multiple types of it. Anyway, um... So, playing D&D, &D, uh, we're following the continuing story of the Dawnforge Company, who are trying to make their way out of this Maleficent murder maze of Minotaur mysteries. Alright, I was, didn't even plan that. Alright, so, Malevolent murder maze! Um, uh, but they are currently in the, the last, uh, well, second to last contest in the Feywild games. This, these, these kind of games between the, uh, the, the Seely and the Unseely. Uh, in the Feywild of uh, friendly, <laughs> we'll put that in mad quotation marks as now. Uh, they've seen to the murder, well, not murder, because you can't die in the maze, but uh, the disposal of the Seely side of things has been f taken care of by a uh, Kalarak quarry. Uh, this, uh, they, they found at the middle of the mage, maze the Minotaur Barbarian had f fought and destroyed almost all of the Seely by being possessed by the um, Karak Kori. Uh, now, the funny thing is, uh, the party almost fell to the same fate, if not for the quick and easy, uh, the quick, uh, thinking of Viser to banish, um, the body of Bloodscale, leaving the Kalarak Kori behind, because it's a specifically a physical possession and not a mental one. So he wasn't in his mind, he was literally in the body, so able to totally banish him away. Totally on purpose, alright. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that doesn't mean they didn't take some serious damage, um, from, uh, both the possessed form of Bloodscale and then the, uh, uh, the possessed form of the Minotaur itself. Now, uh, forced into her, um, fire elemental form, Zephyr is reluctant to drop it in, in fear of losing not only her, uh, beast shape, but going back to her relatively low hit points. Um, pretty much the only one who escaped unscathed, mm -hmm. unscathed was mm -hmm. Viser, I believe. Uh, everybody else got... Uh, quite a bit of, of damage. There's psychic damage. Oh, there's man. blinding. It was uh, crazy. If uh, I can also, make it through all of the Feywild challenges without taking damage, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> it's in your blood. <laughs> Are you trying to get acquired? <laughs> now you've jinxed it. Dark it acquired. No, oh, um, <laughs> but uh, so they, that's kind of where we, fi we find ourselves in the middle. They've reached the middle of the maze and there's a burning tree at its center. Uh, each of its petals uh, below the flame are a clear sort of pale pink uh, that seem to catch fire and regrow as this some, something about the this tree being consumed in fire but ever growing through it having something to do with these uh, the Minotaur and, and the lore they've come across so far uh, it sits at the heart of this maze now standing over the uh, corpse of the Minotaur and everybody giving uh, the fire elemental a good little berth so that way they don't get uh, well burnt uh, and so with that, we'll go ahead and dive in. What would you guys like to do? Well, let's go changing his eyes back to uh, silver so he doesn't get blinded. I'm going to start uh, checking on the Sealy who've fallen. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, this guy is the, the guy Wizard dueled with, right? That's correct, yeah. Um, I'm going to walk so, over to him. Perfect. There you go. He is completely... He is soaked head to toe, completely unconscious. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, as you soaked get over to what? him, soaked in water. He was hit by the tsunami from, uh, or the, oh, okay. uh, from, uh, and so. Tidal wave. Just... Tidal wave. That's the one. Uh, and then so uh, his oh, head is, is, <laughs> is is cracked and bleeding anyway, into okay, his. Uh, he was hit his, by the tidal his, wave. Totally yeah. drenched. Yeah, his head is has been slammed against the wall. It's clearly like blood is, is seeping into his um, pale gold, uh, almost platinum hair. Uh, as he, he lays, um, you notice the burns that you left on his robe are still intact. He, he still has not uh, repaired them, uh, but yeah, he's just bleeding into the water around him. I'm going to be like, Squarely Ark, if you can hear me, this is kind of an emergency. I don't know if these guys are disqualified, but I'd like, you know, them to be all right. Hello? And as you yell out, um, you see similar to the uh, Squall Knight before, the forms of all of the, uh, the Seelie begin to fade away out of the maze. All right, I hope they're okay. Uh, what's up with this tree? Does anyone understand what this tree is? Is, is it still on fire? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, it, it is on fire. Can I do a nature check on it? You can? Uh, yeah. Can I do a history check on it? 
Definitely. <coughs> As well? Yeah, absolutely. Can I tell Uzi to watch entrances so that we don't get snuck up on? Hey, Uzi, can you guidance that. me? I can guidance you. Guidance! <laughs> pull your D4. All right. Oh, you helped as much as you could. I appreciate so, it. The maximum um, amount of my little limited help. <laughs> so, the looking at this tree, um, as far as nature goes, you you innately know when, like, it's it's obvious to you at this point uh, what plants and animals are in pain, and this particular plant doesn't seem to be in any pain. It seems like the fire that is escaping it and consuming it while it grows ever upward and onward seems to be part of whatever makes this tree unique it's, it's part of what what is it's part of its natural life cycle it is not a a force put upon it but part of the tree um you think just because it's not in any pain um as far as history with an 11 um oh wait you just read a you you're, you're you've been reading a book about this so uh, that that does help a little bit um oh. with the uh uh the the reading of the the tome um in knowing language, you you know that the, the the story of the the Minotaur is is steeped you know half in a a world that's disappearing and and half in a world trying to move forward, and so you think uh, you don't know the type of this tree or, or where they found it or anything like that, but you you get the idea that it was planted here as kind of like a, a symbolic thing of of Minotaur how they're supposed to. Uh, lead their lives if if they live by uh, these these rigid these, these kind of minotaur standards. Always every day on fire, but on fire, but and growing. So it's you know this kind of it's this this metaphor. You're not sure where the tree came from, uh, which is a shame. But uh, you you do get that they they found it and decided that it was so important and so representative of their people that they put it in the middle of this uh, massive mausoleum for their people. After thinking for a moment, I'm I'm gonna knock on the wall. They, do you guys want me to take this tree down? It, as it doesn't look too important, and we could use the room. <laughs> uh, and I saved a minotaur. Oh, a minotaur. Okay. Uh, so the the walls ripple, and then like uh, the, the the you hear just like the stones just like like there's this like almost like sub. It's almost subsonic, but like it's like something on the. Like it's almost like the edge of your periphery, but in in sound terms. Like you can definitely hear something, but it's it's impossible to make out. And then like all of a sudden, like one stone is spit out, and it spins around in front of you. And then as it spins, it gives off this, and then pulls back into the wall. What was that? Is that like a hiss? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, mate. Well. I I don't know how to get you guys to talk to me, honestly. Like, I just want to, uh, you know, get as much information as I can about this so we don't ruin anything like we have already. So you can either tell me about the tree or not. I'm not gonna mess with it, looks important, but, you know, the more information you guys give us, the less damage we'll do. Just something to think about. Roll a persuasion check. Uh, 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 like, is that your perception? Uh, uh, okay, I see it, I mean. Yeah, just whenever you want to get to it. Sure. Uh, Uzi, you want to guidance me on this? I think I'm checking things. Ty, can I guidance him or? Yes, yeah, I can say you can. You can walk over and guidance him and still keep keep an eye around. Okay. Since it's then just yes, a touch I spell. will you absolutely don't... guidance. Perfect. Guidance. Never mind. Uh, oh, I'll you for it. Let's see how it goes anyway. Trust me. Bam! Yeah, okay. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined. That's what you needed. How do you um, like this today? <laughs> I'm not That's even what kidding. You like, so. Oh man. Um, with that, uh, sways of human being stones, at that very moment. like so the stones in the wall start to like bleed off as bugs almost leaving a swarm and they come out in, uh, in front of you. Um, they, you see that they, uh, they, they kind of like swirl around and you notice these are, are smaller stones and you know, they, they probably used it to fill bits. And then you see some of them are, are bits and shattered pieces. And before you, they start to form into this, into the, the shape of the head of a minotaur. And then you see it, it flattens out and then takes the shape of a minotaur rising out of the ground. And then like uh, the, the minotaur seems to look around and then look at its, at its hands. Uh, and then you see uh, it starts to run. And as it, as it goes, more and more of these tiny bits and even dust at this point is coming down out and to fill this picture in. 
and before you is this the the show where this minotaur comes into being and immediately runs into battle and you see it fighting against uh like these dragonoid type people and then some dragons flying in from the top and you see as it's fighting other minotaurs start appearing next to it um and then you see uh, as it's kind of running in you see they it goes to these humanoid figures um that, that just gesture and some of the 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 figures that are made next to it made of dust disappear and are wiped out and you see um you you get the idea you're seeing the um the very beginning moments of minotaur they were created in the heart of the battle of the morafe uh to fight amongst uh, on which side it's not too particular they might themselves might not even know um but you see um after the uh, it gets this this battle going on you see then it all dissipates and you see just the a lone minotaur standing in, in the middle of uh, of this flat plain and he he's standing there and he falls to his knees and in front of him a, there's a small tree that grows and then so you see the minotaur starts to water the tree and starts to take care of it and then god damn 30 you fucking all right um <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, and as, as it starts to grow, you see uh, the Minotaur starts taking it upon himself to be the caretaker for this tree. And then, you know, some more Minotaurs uh, show up as like a representation of the, the family builds around it. And then you see something comes along and lights the tree on fire. And then the Minotaur appear to make a bargain with this being. And while the tree stays on fire, it continues to grow. And so you see that this tree was the first thing that uh, the Minotaur people cared about and considered themselves the guardians of before they had grown large enough to be um, kind of like a more of a, a people rather than just a family. And so this is literally like almost the beginning family tree of Minotaur. Like it's, it's the, the first charge and the way of life and how they've, they've taken this as a symbol of how to be after whatever day they, deal they made with whatever figure that was. It's a good thing my title wave didn't put out the flames! <laughs> Alright, well, it's pretty important. Then I'd say we have to leave this one alone. Not for now. Um, Wait, didn't the, did, didn't the flames get put out and then they just came right back? Yeah, yeah, much. like it, it waved over and then yeah. just lit right back up. Hey, pretty important tree. Uh, learning about the Minotaurs, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, uh, Wall Minotaurs? The ancestors of the I'm not sure who they who and so who's providing this to us, but as you're you're questioning it, you see um, before you this mosaic um, now a little more simplified. It shows uh, a minotaur like fall over, and then as a um, like a plant grows out of the chest of the minotaur, and then it shrinks down, and then all of the stones instantly escape except for one stone spinning. So he's trapped here. Uh, what do you say to the wall? Wait, are you trapped here? And then they, they reform and uh, into another picture, and it's just like this shake. And, it, and then it shows like uh, a minotaur fall, and then like a, a ghost rise out, and then the ghost go, oh, you're goes the down ancestors. and forms. Yeah, you get the idea that um, minotaur souls are have, can be kept here and have an anchor in this maze, each as individual stones. Oh, all right. Well, I can dig that. Oh my gosh, this whole maze is actually made of of minotaurs and their souls. This place is incredible. Like, don't let's not break anything if we can. I actually don't know why we're having a competition here. This seems incredibly um inappropriate, if I'm being honest. Did you minotaur well, consent to all this? Is this you guys cool with this, really? So um, again, it it's plays like the lore out the for scene. the Mario Brothers, by the way. I love it. Is it really? Oh, the goom uh, in the original in the original text, all of the blocks you break were people that Koopa turned into bricks. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, it's Jesus! This so is why weird. I can't have nice things. No, because <laughs> Mario will you. ruin them. No. Um, <laughs> so you see again, they they play the scene where they make a bargain with this faceless person. You know, maybe I say maybe it's good that we hold this competition or they hold this competition here, because otherwise, who would come here and learn their history? Uh, I mean, well, honestly, this is all bonus. We, it's not like we're brought here to learn history. Huh, at least we're working on it. Um, Our part. You, as you're, you're thinking about it, uh, you remember that um, there's been things all over saying, remember and tell our story. So part of the reason... You, never mind. <laughs> no, no, go for it. 
Uh, I say would have caught it. It sounds like. Uh, and it's just... Yeah, it's just because we we had to break up, and it's been a few weeks. I just want to like uh, part of the, like. There's been all of these things throughout the maze that are remember our story, tell our story, you know that sort of thing. Right. So you, okay, part of the deal is, you know, they want more people to know because they're afraid of being forgotten. Uh, because being born in the Battle of the Morifei, they see what happens to those that are forgotten, and they're just terrified of non-existence. All right, so it looks like we've got our first big treasure, right? We've got this story of, of the Minotaur, right? And the, the, the deals that they've made, sort of some of their philosophy. Maybe that'll be worth points at the end. Everyone, right? They just, you know, if, if they ask, we can try and get something for <laughs> game the system. <laughs> Aren't you the storyteller? <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, if I'm not there, it's something we could do. That's all. Uh, not in your current form, you speak. Okay, um, I was just making sure, because, you know, you hear, <laughs> and then I realize I can't speak common, and then I just kind of slump and wait. Uh, Jaffar, uh, do you want to do the healing thing? Because well, you know, you're the party heal healer. Um, doesn't, you, uh, you do have I know, to I'm have... just being a jackass. Oh no! I was just gonna say you do happen to have somebody who speaks uh, primordial. Speaks uh, primordial. Tazir speaks primordial, being from the fire elemental plane. Oh dirt. So. Dirt. Uh, what did you try to say that only Tazir would understand? Uh, when are we going to get moving? I don't think we're done. Do you translate yeah, for it, Tazir? Uh, she said that when are we gonna move again? I don't think we're done with the maze. Oh yeah, I don't think we're done yet. I'm just trying to. I was trying to figure out if we had any any if we can get any help from these these minotaur, the the people in the walls. Uh I kind of I kind of I kind of said if they help us out, we won't break more stuff. I figured that was an easy enough thing for everyone to get behind. Um. Minotaur, any chance you could help us just get to one objective, one goal? Maybe help us figure out which way to go? Do, do you want to ask them if we're at the center? Eh. Uh, if so, they answer the which way to go, I think that'll be more helpful than if we know that we're in the center. So Storm, oh, that's fair. stones Good kind point. of roll out, and they, they form a circle, but then form a cross over it, as a, and then form Alright, they're not allowed to tell, they're not allowed to help us. And then they, they swarm over to um, Uza and put a check mark at his feet and then swarm back into the wall. I think we're yeah. at the center, guys. Cool. That's so weird. I mean, they we... talked to me before. I, I <laughs> You guys are being cryptic for no reason, you walls. Wait, did they really? <laughs> yeah. People in the walls? There's a whole like culture thing in the walls? Yeah, they talked, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, they're yeah, because uh, um, they're like, stop away. killing us, and I got the glare from Vicer because I keep shooting the traps. Okay, that, that would have been way easier. Well, that's fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just got to make things hard for myself every once in a while. Sorry, everybody. Oh, you're good. Every once in a while? Oh, All the I enjoyed the yeah, visual, so. nevertheless. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. As long as you enjoyed it, that's all I care about. All right, perfect. So um, what would you like to do next? All right, we know that we're in the center of the maze. What can we do with that information? I mean, the goal was to get to the center of the maze and get points throughout it, right? Let's uh, get to the end of the maze. Oh, the end of the maze. Not yeah. the center, the end. <laughs> that okay. makes more sense. Can I, try, can I try to figure out which way the Sealy came from? Uh, yeah, roll a nature check to see if you can find any, um... I was really hoping it would have been survival. <laughs> survival? Survival could work. I'll, I'll let you go survival. That makes more sense anyway. Oh, did, uh, did my perception bring up anything, Ty? Um, perception, let me take a look, 26. Nope. Um, can I try that too? So, Plus. unfortunately, all signs of where people came from and where they were going were kind of wiped out by a tidal wave. So, it's, uh, mm. real hard to tell, right. unfortunately. Uh, which way was the tidal wave going, though? It was, it was going down. north. Yeah. So, here to there. So. Can I see what I can see? With yeah, survival? Can, we, can we check all the other doors, right? Uh, yeah, you like can. For... Uh, yeah, go ahead and, uh, and take a look if you want. Um, oh, sorry. So... Uh, uh... Yeah, there goes Zephyr. I'm just going to try to see if I actually have the bag of holding on me and if it actually has stuff in it. Uh, the bag of holding. Oh, 
does have uh, things in it, and you do have it on you. I'm going to pull out a greater healing potion. Perfect. It's there, and oh, then yeah, I'm going to chug that motherfucker. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to see him do that, and I'm going to take my superior. Perfect. Go ahead and mark your healing. Uh, roll your, your heal dice. Uh, let's see. 26. Uh, let's see. Ooh. What? Holy shit. <laughs> That's, that's, that was, that's a decent roll. That's, that's a, a superior healing potion. Why is it purple? The numbers are... Is that the max you can get on that? No, it's just... No, if it's, you're uh, it's a, the, uh, it's a blue ahead. item in D&D Beyond, so it probably just ported the blueness of it. Ah, over. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. All right, so, um, so even with a, a 26, this is bare stone with a white tidal wave that just hit it. It is... It is really, really nearly impossible to see anything where they came from. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> or, I is there dust northward? Um, uh, so there, there, there would have been dust. Now the only dust left is by where the the dust that came out where the um, uh, the stones were showing you the their story. Wait. So like, none so like of these around, other entrances have like, I am, this here. Uh, no, because like the the water hit uh, the walls and splashed into them. So they while they they have dust, uh, the water like it's it was a it's a, a vag violent magical tidal wave uh, that splashes into everywhere and then magically evaporates itself. All right, well we came from the south. Mm -hmm. Pick a direction and let's try. I'm pointing north. Howdy, uh, Uza, okay. lead the way, check for traps, so that, be careful. You got it. I'm gonna go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. catch a Arakokrim by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, perfect. And then, um, I'm gonna take it for written as now, as then <clears> nobody's <throat> getting into the range of the fire elemental. Just because I yep. yeah. took him position. Yeah, no, no, no not, not gonna, not gonna still stick have... my head in the fire now. Do we still have pass without a trace going? Um, I believe um, Hunter's Mark was used in that battle, so it would have faded by now. Okay. We get I'm also going to say out today. loud, if we see the Unseely, they still have the disengage. So does that mean, yeah, I actually have a question about that. So does that mean if I can, like, like if I see them, and I can be like, hey, Unseely, and then I leave, and then we can come back like two minutes later and fuck their shit up? Mm-hmm. Like I could like see them, and then go get you guys, and then we can go fight them. Yeah, no, I mean, the main full, thing is we just don't want you to get too far. Um, yeah, it's a full disengage, so we gotta back up and go a different direction, and they gotta back up and try to go a different direction. What if they're ahead of us in the... Oh, okay. Oh, Life hi, sucks, good. get a helmet. Um, so it looks like uh, um, <laughs> Tazir's past, uh, cast Pass Without a Trace again, and you see, uh, uh, once again, um, uh, Tazir Ooh. kind of, uh, like touches her forehead and then pulls out a, a single like bit of flame from her hair and then kind of dusts it in her uh, her hands and as the ashes fall to the floor they hit and the shadows flow out from her enveloping you all. Add 10 to your stealth rolls. Okay. Neat. Do I have disadvantage for... since I'm on fire? Uh, you better stay at the back because uh, you mean... <laughs> probably, yeah, probably, probably, yeah, probably. You know, yeah, just, yeah, definitely disadvantage. Uh, also a higher DC, just letting you know because you sneak harder. <laughs> All right, so uh, investigation was a 13 so, uh, stealth. 13 for traps and 30 for stealth for me. All right, so... <laughs> Thank you for that pass without a trace. Make it to here. Um, and then as you make it to here, uh, you... Let's see... You know what? Give me a general perception check. Cause this is a weird trap. Got it. This with eyesight or hearing? Eyesight. Twenty-two. Uh, do you have dark vision on right now? Or uh, uh no, I have my um, eyes of the eagle going. That, I thought that everything was, like... was lit. No, I well, you know, I thought about that. I, I just thought it wasn't lit, but. You know, it would make sense for it to be lit. It has been so far, so fuck it, yeah. Um, okay. So as you... I mean, with I a, could, no, no, you're good. a 14. With a, with a 22, like, as you're, you're walking, you don't see any traps or anything. And the, but then you look up and you see there's... It's like, what the hell? There's, like, spikes on the ceiling. Oh. Guys, I found a trap. Uh, can I see if I can <clears throat> trace the trigger? Like, is there... Sure. Usually no trip wires. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. go and roll an uh, investigation check since it was caught by your perception. 
just because, like I said, this is a empty. Uh, so looking around, you you can't you don't two. see any loose stones. You don't see <laughs> two. Yes, uh, you don't see any like uh, loose stones. You don't see any any like trip wires. You don't see any anything that would indicate a trigger of any sort. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna take some of my rope and I've got now oh, what's the fucking heaviest thing that I have. Your drift globe staff, I think. Yeah, I don't want to damage that though. Um, I'm gonna take my bag of 500 ball bearings and tie it okay. Okay. to the end, and then just kind of like twirl it and try to smack the ground hard enough to, to trigger something. I want to use it like as a weight, but give it a little bit of umph to help okay. with the actual weight of it. And are you just targeting each individual tile and like kind of whacking yeah, it? Yeah, just kind of right right underneath where the spikes are is where I'm going to start. Or is it like this whole section of hallway here? This whole section of hallway here. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm just going to start. I'm going to actually, you know what? Correction. I'm going to uh, do areas that I can reasonably think that I can walk to get around this corner. Okay, perfect. So um, you start thwack when you reel it in. Thwack. The rest of you hear the sound of a uh, bag of ball bearings just hitting the ground and then whack, whack. You go through um, what you consider most everything that you can you can think of being the the trigger, but it doesn't seem nothing seems to trigger as far as this goes. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna l look back towards the group and be like, guys, I'm gonna do something even dumber than what I just did, and I'm gonna step right where the first place I hit the ball bearings was. So as you step out, all of a sudden, um, I need you to make a, an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't do well at the... Oh, I, I'm okay at that. Yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> no. Ooh, I'm not, not okay Not much worse, at that. but a little bit. And so as you, as you um, <laughs> step onto it, uh, you kind of like... You, you feel uh, your feet kind of like invert, and all of a sudden you feel gravity reverses, and you get pulled up into the spikes... Do I have time to fly away? Mm, not with the, the intelligence save was to see how quickly you noticed it to um, react That's fair. To, so, uh, it's but the a ball bearings weren't flying up, huh? No, God it's it's it. specifically um, fate creatures. Can I cast Featherfall are, on him as a reaction? You so can't you see can him. See. He's scouting ahead. Oh, okay, I thought I was. I was all right. Cool. Uh, he didn't just because he didn't call out for anybody to help him. I assumed he was still his his twenty feet ahead. That's why I was like, "You all hear this?" Well, he said I was going to do something stupid, so I thought we were closer. I got no, if, no if worries. I'm not worried if, about it. If you would have moved, I am. Him, I am like actively trying to stay about thirty feet ahead. Like wherever okay. Taz is, I'm right at that thirty foot range because whatever okay. traps I trigger, I don't want to hit you guys. Yeah. Oh, so no. he, he would not be in range for so, Featherfall. It's a sixty foot well, spell. No, no, he would not be in line of sight. Yeah, he's yeah. you're on a corner is the problem. Sight. Okay, so um, just next time, uh, if, if he is, let me know when you're moving up so, for next time. And then, uh, so, as you, you guys hear, uh, as you hear something hit, sounds like the floor to you, uh, and uh, you take 14 points of piercing damage as you hit the these top spikes. There's a... And uh, you look down as the spikes are pierced, you're like, ah, ah, and you look at, on your chest is Maverick. Uh, he's just kind of looking at you like, I look like it hurt. Uh, Mike just texted. He's PC did another start for restart. He will be back in a moment. All right. In the meantime, we'd like to tell you all about DM Emporium. That's <laughs> right, DM Emporium. Perfect chance for a little break here. A little stretch yourself out. Uh, think about buying a t-shirt or some dice. I don't know. Why not? It's a break Maybe. time. Unforced break time. So we're going to uh, make yeah. you talk now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, a dice tray. We've got... Uh, um, Viking Ooh, drinking journaling. horns, all sorts of journaling, all sorts of beautiful pins. Pardon my hiccups. Oh god, I'm having a bad time. Gross, then, um, disgusting. Don't forget to check out our <laughs> sponsored streams. Uh, we have uh, one on Mondays now. That's the Mind and the Martyr over on friends twitch.tv slash friends who roll dice. I'm actually in that game as Jotro Cool Sharpener, a um, Zerif Neblin uh, artificer. Um, we sponsor everything on that, that channel. So earlier today, they had an I amazing interview with uh, Flying Circus. Mike, are you back? Okay, nope. Uh, with, uh, I was Flying finally Circus. kicking him out. 
Okay. With uh, uh, Flying Circus creator um, Erica, uh, it was this amazing system where there's magic and like biplanes and like it's it's really super fun. Uh, so check it out if you want air swashbuckling adventures. Uh, on Wednesdays, well, I sponsor the uh, Beyond Men's campaign taking place in the Critical Role Wild Mount campaign setting, uh, where I am in that one as well. I play Brant Heitstagger, a uh, Fire Ganassi Echo Knight. Who, if you haven't played Echo Knight or seen Echo Knight played, it is just absurdly fun. Um, Why is that? Thursday, uh, it's just ridiculous uh, because you you can summon a copy of yourself to fight with you. It's just the best. Um, I take it. Uh, and you don't have to summon it on the ground. You can summon it like in the air over people and then swap places with it and dive down on bitches. Like, it's fun. Um, uh, also, that same uh, Wednesday nights uh, on Friends Who Roll Dice, we uh, sponsor The Gods We Know. Um, that is a, a D&D 5e game with some really cool, interesting, like, uh, twists on... on uh, it's just a really cool campaign with some, like, uh, you know, people playing siblings and, and monks and Fire and Ice. It's, it's a lot of really cool things. They recently got caught in a time loop and found out they'd done something, like, hundreds of times. It was a really cool mind F. Um, let's see. Other than that, um, Thursdays, we don't compete with Critical Role because they <laughs> are the rules. And we're back. Hello, Ski. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry, my bad. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, I have a kernel see. security error. Ooh. Oh, fun. Kernel security? That means, but it no. sounds important. It's not great. Yeah. It's not great, but I can fix it, I think. Maybe. I can try to fix it. Not now, but later. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll see Noise. if I can Google any help for you. Um, so, uh, no, no, you I'm... are... <laughs> Uh, you are currently impaled, and uh, as you looking at your chest, you see Maverick is just kind of standing at it. He looks at you, his head tilts. Are you okay? Uh, maybe. Am, is, uh, do I have to pull myself off of this thing? You do, with a strength check. Or you uh, can just call. <laughs> but I'm going to get in the earring. Let's go. Don't tell everybody else. I need your help. I'm you know, everybody I'm can stuck. hear this earring at the same time, right? Shh. <laughs> It doesn't, oh, can we not specifically send one to one another? No, it's it's a general broadcast sort of thing. No, I know. <laughs> Holy I'm going to go, shh, Uza. Uza, don't tell anyone, but we can hear you. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what hurts the shame or the spike. Oh, right. spike. Definitely spike. spike. Okay. Be what am I walking second. into? Um, You're going to turn around the corner. Oh, God. And then you're going to see me on the roof on a bunch of spikes. Don't step underneath me. Because it'll be like, whoop, and then you be okay. like, Plack. I'm going to very out. slowly inch around the corners, doing my best to spot the spikes. Perfect. Uh, knowing and what to look for, it's bloody it's bird boy. Uh, so you, you get here and you see above, sitting on the spikes, like full cartoon, slapped on the ground position. Uh, you see Uza, and you see uh, 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 standing on his chest is is Maverick the Raven, who looks up at you as you look up at him, and he just kind of tilts his head. And then he flaps down, and midway he kind of like flips over and lands on your shoulder. Mav, gross. Bring, bring me up the the side of the rope. Bring yeah, me up gonna, the side of the rope. No, I'm just gonna throw the rope at you. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, it? No, nah, you can catch that. You're, you're a fucking nerd. <laughs> I was gonna do dex check, but that seems mean at this point. <laughs> so, <laughs> Worst case scenario, it just lands on his face. Yeah, just. It's true. Because yeah, gravity will reverse, and it's gonna make it super easy. <laughs> Uh, I grab the rope. Perfect. Uh, just a strength check to pull uh, Uza. And From a strength check him. to hold on. Both of you. Oh, gosh. Uh, I would I would actually inform Uza I'm gonna, to him. I'm going to okay. wrap it around my arm and tie it like around a wrist. Perfect. Okay, so no strength check for you. Uh, go ahead and just blitz kill and strength check it. 15. Perfect. I technically have advantage because it's pulling, isn't it? I mean, yeah, with your, your uh, increased size, do that. Um, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so, no. And then, uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I gotta take any damage, but it's just like this. And then, <laughs> just a little hefty strength to it, and you just come, un like, like you just came unglued from the scene, and just wham onto the floor, and just a little wind knocked out of you, but you're fine. I think we need by fair. And, uh, and as as you hit the ground, you immediately start to fall back upwards. Uh, let's get, uh, shit, and I get make a dexterity check to see if you can catch him before he falls all the way back. <laughs> oh god damn it! I'm not. I, I wouldn't like. 
I'm just fucking okay. with you guys. Five, five is good <laughs> enough. It just had to be a natural one. Uh, so uh, as you, you slide to slow back up, my blood scale just anchors and kind of reels you in until you're under the side where gravity is no longer reversed. Do you want to just go a different way? Do you want to... Uh, I mean, we found this trap. Uh, so I think we, we just to Do you think it's magic? It. I think it's... Oh, like, I don't I mean... have to spell... Oh. No, I don't have counter spell. I do have dispel. I can, hey. but I'm I'm running low on spells. Just so we know. Can you can you find me a thing that I that needs to be dispelled? It's yeah. kind of this area. I'll walk over and I'll do an Arcana check. Okay, perfect. Good. Uh, Eleven. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the back of his shirt just in case. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm gonna is, it... absolutely support this. Perfect. So, uh, what is the two D six? Oh, healing hand. Sorry, uh, that's my healing hand. Yeah. <laughs> um. So an eleven. Um, it has something to do with. Uh, the the trigger seems to be just living creature, crossing the 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 where the that line. Right here. That seems to be the trigger, and it definitely is. It just seems like maybe a reverse gravity spell of some sort. It's just reverse gravity. <laughs> so I, I point that out to blood scale, like where the origin is. I'm going to because I forget where I got this, but Ty gave it to me. Probably the bracer. Okay. I'm going to use my once a day detect magic. Perfect. Uh, do you have Chenoth uh, tuned? He's in my brain. Oh, that's right. Yeah, go ahead and um, detect magic. So. As you um, detect magic, you see that uh, the each tile um, in this section is 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 glowing with the this this sort of magic. Um, does it seem linked, or does it seem each individual tile? It seems like uh, it seems all pretty much linked together. Um, but you do see, like, uh, as you uh, you know, what, give me a perception check. Okay. Once I get back to that tab, because I was checking something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 18. Okay. So you do notice that um, it does end right here. Like, nothing else is glowing beyond this point when you, you kind of lean over and look around that corner. So the tile directly north of me, is that one glowing? This This one is not glowing. Huh. What, yeah. I could try something dumb. Biology. It's the thing to do right now. Yeah, might as well, right? Or if anybody can dispel this floor. I mean, I can. Uh, it will just uh, mean that we'll have. Wait. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I, I forgot. Oh, I, I no, still stop, have sorcery stop. points. It won't. It'll no, be fine. Stop. Stop. Who's it? Oh. Your bow. Huh. So I used it's it very rude to, to interrupt myself. people. <laughs> I used it to shoot myself in the I foot. Will take the dragon out of your mask. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I didn't touch his mask. Oh. Not Uza. Right. I have my I have enough of my own power. Stand on my own two feet. I'm good with it. Alright, so um what stupid thing did you want to try? I was gonna try to, try to put my arm around the fucking corner and whip myself around. <laughs> okay, uh, go and give me a uh, two um, acro would it, acrobatics or athletics. Would it, what you choose? Blood scale. Before you do that, uh huh. Would it help if the trap was already triggered, so the gravity was already going? So it's not like a sudden change. It's already. You nope, know what I mean? Nope. nope. I'm just gonna do this dumb thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 22. Ooh. And with that, you grab onto the wall and uh, you kind of whip your body around. And as you're, you're holding onto the wall, you just change it and then pff, you whip your, your legs around as they go up and then back down. And you find you, you are able to whip yourself around the wall and land on the other side. Uza still has the rope. This is perfect. <laughs> Neat. I'm going to put well a pitten in over here. Well I'm going to try and hand him a pitten around the corner. I'm just going to keep it Easy tied enough. to myself with my perfect. big large ass. Right. And then, uh, so oh, now you guys have a, a rope to hold on to, so you don't fly into the spikes, and you guys can make your way around the trap. Um, yeah, Except for the fire uh, elemental, that's gonna that's have to figure out the one problem. So I'll, we'll consider you two past it. Let's go. And then 
technically, as a fire elemental, you can kind of actually be flying in small places. Don't they hover? Uh, yes, ish. Let me take a look at this. Okay, fire elementals. Uh, they don't have. What if I cast speed. feather fall on her? She walks forward, and we just pull her with the rope after the anti. The rope will burn. Uh, she's made of fire. And we don't have fireproof rope. Dang it! Don't. I mean, she can move through spaces as narrow as an inch wide without squeezing. I mean, she well, does have resistance to piercing damage, so even if she falls, she's taking half damage. Well, yeah, when well, she's in the air, she's technically not gonna... Well, no, that's not fair. That's not well, true. the point is, we need to get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> I thought we were... So, yeah, Uzi, you gotta move forward and check for shit. Uh, check for traps, check for traps. Check for giddy, check, check for Make guidance. Investigation check. I honestly have enough Ooh. rope. I'm staying tied to Uza. Oh, 27. That's pretty good. Okay, perfect. 27. That's way better. What'd you get advantage? I, it's just rolling advantage for some okay. reason. No worries. Uh, so 27, uh, kind of looking ahead. Um, you, you, you get over even all the way up to here, and you're, you don't see any. 29, anything. actually. Because of guidance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, Good. interrupt. You're good. And so the rest of you can move... Um, uh, to Z uh, not to Zir. Uh, sorry, the other fiery one, <laughs> Zephyr. Uh, how are you planning to traverse this trap? Uh, With alacrity. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to move. You're muted. I can hear you, Brandon's though. Um. Well, since I'm kind of hovering anyway, I, I'm just gonna grab a hold of the side of the wall and fling myself. Okay, perfect. So the same way that, uh, that um, go ahead and give me a, let's call it a dex check in your current form. Alright, dex check. I just hit dexterity. Yep. Should be. Easy enough. You, you managed to whip your elemental form onto the other side and land without falling Whee. into the, uh, the craziness above. Well, there's the other me that's following. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and... Oh, did you, gra did you grab her? Yeah, I grabbed her. Perfect. Okay, thank you. All right, is it? You've uh, made it to this uh, long hallway, and then... Oh, wait, 29. Uh, yeah, actually, you'd make it even there. And you see a, a T up ahead. One left, one right. We need a re-stealth, or are we good on our previous checks? Uh, let's just go and use your previous checks. You guys are good for now. Cool. All right, I am going to see if I hear anything down either way. Perfect. Perception check. Oh, God, why is it doing that? That's weird. It's uh, 22 because okay. I'm not using my eyes. Sure. Uh, 22, uh, listening. <clears throat> There's no sound coming from the uh, what would be your right up ahead. Um, and then to the left, not a whole ton of sound, but just like a, just like this... Like wind blowing. Exactly. Okay. All right. I'm going to pass to the group that there's a strong wind coming from the left over the earpiece. Uh, I'm not barking. Uh, so coming from somewhere Shame. else in there. And then I'm going to start heading. Uh, sorry. Hold on. Uh, we have a window in our living room that's exactly dog head height. Uh, <laughs> she likes to bark at passersby. <laughs> Yes, Roxy, you're very scary. Good job. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, start heading right and checking for traps. Okay, you said you're taking the right-hand turn? Yes, going so north. Step, you going see up. A dead end. Oh, try whatever you said. I didn't catch what oh, you said. Oh, he, he sees a dead end when you, <laughs> when you turn around the corner. You're like, aha, damn it. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go right, uh, left. We're going left, guys. We're going towards it's the wind. The hard left life. All right. Perfect. Uh, go ahead and, and so we'll just go ahead and use your investigation check because you didn't know that you saw a wall. Okay. Cool. Um, how far do I get? Uh, so you get about... Uh, you know what? What did you roll for your investigation check? 24. Uh, yeah, actually, looking around, you, you do see some... Um, like, you do see a, a loose uh, stone... Uh, kind of sp like in the in the middle, and it's you just with a twenty four. You see the barest hint of movement, as it, you see it almost like giggles to itself. Like, mm -hmm. 
uh, as it hears you coming. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna step back from the corner and into the earpiece. Vicer, are we shooting the traps? Do you have another way to to, to like make them not do trap things? Uh, the I'm not one. Sure. Uh, I'll I'll see if I can come up and see what you're seeing. Okay, um, see I will point out is. exactly which one it is, is as stealthily as I can. Rizza points out this stone, and then uh, you do see that it is just barely raised over the others, similar to uh, one of the ones that were skidding around trying to get underfoot before. I, I whisper, I, I, I knock on the wall gently and go, uh, I, we really don't want to, like, damage anything. Could you guys turn off this trap now that we've found it? Uh, so as, as you knock, you see the uh, and, and as you whisper in, in Minotaur, you see the uh, the stone itself just kind of like raises up, and then it kind of like deflates, and then just kind of slowly worms its way back to the wall, disappointed. Sorry, Tell them if thank they you. see a guy with a fishbowl on his head that they can beat the shit out of him. Yeah, if you see someone with a fishbowl looking head, they're a prime target as far as we're considered. <laughs> <laughs> They like kind of like laugh as like an entire wall. Like you just hear this. <laughs> have they? Have they oh, ask them if they've seen him. Oh wait a minute! I have a voice. Thing. Uh, uh, have you guys seen anyone with a fishbowl looking head? Oh come on, you stupid piece of shit! Hold on, one second. Call <laughs> me a wow, stupid piece of shit. Really wow. really <laughs> we should shoot this fucker. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Da 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 da. They're almost Were those done. words? Yeah. You Sit say there, words? Done. Yeah, I couldn't understand that, man. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, they're, they're, they're almost done. Oh, okay. Done. Oh, the other people. Mm-hmm. Stall them if you can. Make a persuasion okay. check. Uh, at advantage at this point. Uh, uh, at advantage? Effort. Yeah, because you, you built a rapport with these. Can I get a guidance from Uza? Uza! Or Uza. Guidance! <laughs> God Uza. Damn it. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my god. I've can I've uh alright, let's see if they'll no. <laughs> <laughs> Like this should be helpful, Eddie. Ooh, lead the way. Who's that? Ooh, all right. I'm not gonna shoot those guys anymore. All right. I'm yeah. gonna step out here and say, you know, okay. still check for traps, though. I don't. I'm not sure how much of that is them and how much isn't. You know? Yep. 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 Perfect. Yep. And so, uh, and yeah, it's the first one. Oh, uh, a ten. Eleven. Yeah, 11. yeah eleven. So. Uh, getting to here, uh, you just, you don't see any traps or anything, but you hear just a... And you see some crates ahead, emptying into, like, a, a larger room. Oh. Hmm, I'm gonna pass along what I hear. Um, can I, I probably can't, can I see anything out there? Uh, at this distance, you, you just see the, these crates, and uh, you do see at the very, very end, there seems to be another one of those uh, Minotaur sarcophagus. Okay, I'm going to pass the word back that there's another Minotaur sarcophagi up ahead. Um, there's also a turn to our left. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one you guys want to take. Okay, well, I'm going to go straight then. And I boldly stride oh, forward. You. Perfect. And then so, uh, if, if I just wanted to mention, I'm still tied to Uza. Oh yeah, no, I'm keeping you guys in the <laughs> Don't worry. And then, uh, Vicer, uh, there. And then your poor flame elemental. I'm coming! Coming! Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Well, Sorry, I, 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 okay. I was on mute. Uh, I meant to say that I'm just going to theater of the mind like, my positioning. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> goes, are you talking to me? And I'm like, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, just going to oh. theater of the mind my position. Uh, sure. No worries. I trust um, you. Just, uh, so uh, looking up ahead, um, as you, you kind of look into this room, it's, 
it's it, it, the room seems to be full of uh, these barrels and crates and stuff. And then you see there's a bunch of like bottles and, and things like that on the wall that have gathered a, a ton of dust. And um, kind of looking at them, they look like um, like uh, alcohol and spirits and things that have been left here for for like uh, like and these seems like really fine items and things like that. Uh, the barrels, uh, you kind of. Like as you're kind of close to one into the crates, you kind of like knock on it, and then as you, you kind of look and you smell, there's like the smell of dried meat from inside, um, and then you do see there's a chest in this room, on this side mm. of the uh, the Minotaur. Uh, I'm gonna let them know there's booze and food. They're really dusty and old, so you know it might not have kept. And I'm I mean, gonna definitely check that uh, chest to trap. Those Perfect. are Good definitely way. offerings. Booze the, the last thing. time you touched a chest, shit got weird. Natural twenty. Perfect. Uh, investigating it. Uh, they. So as far as chat, tra- tra- you, uh, you kind of look in, and you, you're kind of you're very cautious this time, and you kind of. And then you see that, uh, and then you're like, wait a minute. And so you 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 kind of lift the latch. The latch itself is locked, and you got to pull it. You you just gently give it a tug, and you're like, that is a vacuum seal. Something's going. To that happen. is a what? Sorry, it cut out. It's you, like a yeah, cut now. Cut out. It's a, it's like vacuum sealed. Like there's some pressure holding it. So you feel like if you open it, it's going to release like a, a spray or a gas of some sort. So you go, you know, but if you get behind the chest with the way that it feels, it's not, you can activate it without it hitting you. Okay. But there's no way to disable. Well, fuck it. No point in disabling it. Uh, all right. I'm going to tie some rope to the ch- front of the chest. Perfect. And then I'm going to back up over here and, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the party and just, while it's over my shoulder, pull it. Cool guys, don't look at explosion. Perfect. And as you pull it, you, the rest of you hear, uh, uh, <laughs> as uh, you see this small, like, uh, flame escape the chest. Uh, Bloodscale, can you hold this rope, please? I got to hold two ropes? All right. And okay, as, thank you. I just don't want it to close and reset. As you, as yep. you walk back over to the chest, you get about here. Uh oh. La, 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 la. And then from inside of the sarcophagus, this wispy form raises out just a. Oh shit. And it points directly at you. Promise, the moment I hear Uza say, oh shit, I yank. And then Uza, you feel yourself pulled back 15 feet. Uh, or, well, 10 feet. Disengage. Feet. Uh, forceful disengage, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And then with that, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll have you everybody. You know, let's. Do you, do you want to use? Uh, you know, fuck it. We'll just. Everybody, go ahead and roll initiative. Oh dang! Oh darn! God damn it! I don't know why it keeps doing that. Fuck it, duck. I took my first one anyway. All right. Perfect. I'll take my 19, please. Send the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid was se- token was selected. You gotta uh, select your token, man. There we go. I got a 21, Ty. Okay, I got I got a 21? Fuck! I never go first. 21. I don't know what to do when what I go first. What the f- 19, Zephyr- Oh, wow, it's zero. got a 20. Zephyr has a 14. Lord! Oh, you got right. a 6 first. 21. I did. We can go with my six if you want, since uh, I failed to select my token. Uh, no, no. Whatever you rolled the the very first time is what we'll take. The first time she rolled a six. Then it was oh, a six. Yeah, okay. Then yeah. yeah, we'll do the six. Sorry. That's fine. All right. Descending order. We got Should Viserys. Up change, yeah. <laughs> you are up. What am is I this... is still looking at the wispy thing? So looking at it is a wispy, like, gaseous black smoke. Uh, and you see the form of it is kind of like... Uh, waving in and out of reality as it kind of like dissipates and reforms and you do recognize the horned shape of a minotaur. <laughs> I'm gonna speak to it in minotaur and be like, stand down! This is a sacred place! We do not wish to cause destruction by having a fight here! We want to preserve your stories and memories as much as we can. We're just trying to get out of the maze. Uh, roll a persuasion check at disadvantage. Advantage. Uh, Uzer, are you near enough to guidance me? Not nope. No, that's an action to do that. Cool. Oh, cool, cool. No worries. Bam! Ugh. Oh, Horse sorry. disadvantage. So, um, with it in back in Minotaur, you just hear, 
You take the offerings. They are for us only. The price must be paid. What did it take? I thought he just opened the chest. Mm-hmm. Look, I didn't take anything! <laughs> and then, um... Anything else you want to do with your turn? Yeah, I'm going to step behind our fire elemental. Uh, well, it's actually, you take probably, damage if you do that. You, you probably want to step maybe down uh, to the south just because uh, the fire elemental will fire hurt you. <laughs> we'll say you guys were there. Uh, so that way you guys weren't being affected <coughs> by that fire elemental. All right. Blood scale. Or you have bonus action if you want, TJ, if you wanted to do something. Uh. much okay all right all right blood scale first thing i'm gonna say is zephyr go burn a ghost Woo! and then i'm gonna shoot an eldritch blast at it perfect go i forget your how many teams i have sweet uh where's that button hits boss misses misses Two force damage. And then I'm going to... Hook back around the... Hook uh. south and... Whatever I can, try to just kind of drag Oza out of the way of the fire elemental. Okay, perfect. And then, uh... So, uh, we'll consider it a bonus action um, to grab grapple a willing participant. Um, who's there? Are you letting yourself be drugged? Um, yes. I mean, I was kind yes. of already grappling him by the fact that I... It's true, <laughs> yeah. Yanked him. The, the rope and everything. So, yeah, we'll say you, you pulled him with you uh, easily enough for clearing the way. We'll say you guys made it down here for the fire elemental. Zephyr, you are up. All right. So, I'm going forward. So is she. <laughs> uh, if you drag select, you'll grab both of them at the same time. I, oh, I thought I did. Oops. No worries. Um, Alright, so I'm going to attack. Perfect. I'm going to forward. And then my fire form. I am going to enter the creature's space. Perfect. And when I do that, it takes... 1d10 fire damage and catches fire. Perfect. Roll it. Nine points of fire damage. Uh, so as you move into its space, it doesn't move and it doesn't flinch. And as the fire ramps around it, you see it it like it does like a, a tiny bit of a reaction, but not not as much as you were hoping for. As it kind of still stares you down as it. In a language you do not understand. Uh, you just hear. Fire is for the fire will not kill me again. Oh, okay. well, I'm gonna multi attack. Perfect. Roll that beautiful multi attack. I'm gonna put you. In oh the well, room. shit. <laughs> Gotta do the touch attack twice. Mm, uh, well, that doesn't hit. Uh, the second one does hit though. So seven points of damage. Perfect. So perfect. And as, as you're fighting through, you, you the first uh, flame attack. As you move, it kind of. So it fades to the side, and then you're like, you get it kind of on the other side. You have this this clawing, raking attack from the the fire elemental hand as it burns across the, the and it just still stares you down like yes, Scarlo. And then uh, Uza, you are up. I am going to. I uh, can't really see too good. Can't see the fucking thing, can I? Uh, not from where you're at, no. All right, I'm going to move up to here. Do I have a shot on it now, or is it in cover? It's, like, because it's, it's literally in the inside fire elemental, set. I would say, and the, the tough angle, ye, oof. make a perception check for me. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll move here. Okay, that, I won't get that, hurt I'll from the fire melon on that metal right? No, no, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and then you okay. can see it from there, kind of fading in and out of the form of the fire elemental. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so 20, and then uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. Fire. Wait, this. Oh, fuck it. I didn't think of that before I said I'm gonna shoot it, so I'm just gonna shoot it. Perfect. Akari is just us! <laughs> Come on, do the thing. Make the noise, I live for the noise. I'm not doing <laughs> the thing. That's okay. Uh, is, your, is it the. the Beyond 20? Yeah. Okay, do you have it built in Roll 20? I do. Sorry, hold on one second. Let me just pull up my character sheet. Akari's Justice. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Rose, bro, bro. was ridiculous, right, man. Roll your uh, like sneak that. attack. And you just murdered Zephyr. Oh, that's Zephyr, a, you take... That's a bad attack. You take... Oh, God. Uh, you Wait, take, why is he attacking uh, uh, Zephyr? Because I he's trying to shoot the... through Zephyr, oh, but he wasn't shit. thinking. Uh, so, yep. uh, it's currently that's what I was in ask, Zephyr, then... so... Yeah. Sorry, bud. Whoops. Um, no, no, so, I, I committed to it. <laughs> yeah. And so, so 20... Um, I have resistance six, to piercing. And then the... the so we did it. So d6 plus. So you rolled a d6. So it's 12 plus your dex mod. So 14 uh, plus 20 for your sneak attack. Uh, so 42 points of damage reduced to 21. Uh, so after you take 21 points of piercing damage as uh, as you're you're fighting this thing and, and you're kind of wrapped up, each form's enveloped in each other. You feel this from behind, almost at like in the, the center of your fire elemental back. Did it hit I the thing at all? I raised my hands up like, like, what the hell? <laughs> Did I not hit the thing at all? Uh -huh. <laughs> it would have had to gone through. Zephyr. It would have had to gone through five feet of Zephyr to get to it. Okay then. Um, I'm gonna go over here and just be like, well, save it because I'm not that. Um, yeah, and yeah, that and my, ends my turn because I can't even hide. Super great, okay. effective round. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Tazir, you are up. I didn't kill me. Woo. Uh. I'm gonna use Cure Wounds on myself. Perfect. Go ahead and roll the uh, Cure Wounds. It's not a bad plan. Uh, 36, like, 36 um, HP, yeah. I am. I'm not doing good. Uh, alright. Yeah, it's only <laughs> level one. So okay. very exciting. Probably nine <laughs> points of healing. Yay. Hey, that's actually almost max. Uh, for I'll take one. it. Yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, any bonus <laughs> actions? Um. Oh, yeah. Well. I mean. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you want to move up in Hunter's Market? Uh, do you can I see? I can't see the... Uh, if you move here, I guess um, I move. you can get your oh. Horizon Walker oh, okay. um, mark on it. Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll Hunter's Market. Perfect. Uh, we'll do the... the your. Um, do you have the spell slot for Hunter's Market still? Or do you want to use your Horizon Walker instead? Or both? Oh, yeah. The next turn. Yeah. Hunter's Mark. Perfect. Okay, Hunter's Mark. Alright, so... It is marked. Alright, that'll bring us to its turn. Uh, okay, so, it takes so. 5, or 1d10 fire damage. Roll that beautiful fire damage. At the start of its turn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. 8 points of damage. And so, it is going to move through you to about here. And then it is going to use Howling Babble. Uh, oh, damn it. Why is that to DM? Hold on. That's not cool. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? Okay, well, fuck it. I'll just copy and paste it. Because it's being a jerk. All right, so Howling Babble. Um, everybody, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Even me. Everybody within 30 <laughs> feet, and that's everybody. Everybody. Wait, where is this thing? Everybody. I don't even get it. It's right here. It moved. Uh, 
Alright, wisdom. I'm gonna use a luck uh, point. Sure. Uh, um, and then, uh, Zephyr, you use your regular wisdom saving throw. Oh, I have to take a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yep, yeah. Alright, wisdom. God damn it. Okay. And then, um, I think blood skill, uh, your last one. Uh, he is not in the room. Give me one okay. second, I'll click I'll his do it. I'll do it for you so you don't have to get oh. up. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oop, wrong one. Oh, you didn't make it either way. All right, so um, everybody who failed, so got under 14, you take 12 points of psychic damage, and you are stunned until the end of its next turn. Uh, I think Uza was the only one who wasn't stunned. Shit. That means we can't do shit? That uh, means uh, it. we're just going to speed things up, and uh, it is uh, Uza's turn. Because How much else. damage? Uh, 12 points of psychic damage. Okay. Um, if I flank this guy, like if I move right here, Flanking am I gonna gain advantage? Absolutely. Okay, even though Taz is stunned. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm gonna attack him with um, my <laughs> uh, shadow trigger. Get it. Absorb the whole thing, dude. What the fuck? Come on. Beyond, I think Beyond Twenty is broken. You're gonna have to not. Okay. Honestly, you probably need to update the thing. 30 will fucking hit, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll Oops. your, uh, roll your uh, sneak attack as well. Oh, my sneak attack, yeah. Uh, that's a shitty sneak. What the fuck? Is that all ones? That is 3, Almost. 2, 1, 1, 1. Uh. Okay, so um, it takes the, the 10 points of piercing damage. It is immune to necrotic damage, so unfortunately that did not go through. Uh, but the sneak attack damage still does, so 18 points of damage onto this creature. It's Mighty have attack. fallen. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, disengage, and I'm going to go okay. back behind my tank. Okay. And then uh, everybody else is stunned, so it'll bring us back to the ellipse turn. Uh, uh, is... Am I allowed to be stunned? Well, yeah. Are you? Does the... Are you immune to this? Means, exhaustion, grapple, paralyzed, petrified, poison, prone, restrained, unconscious. Stunned is not on that list. Shit. Sorry. Worth a try. All right. So, um, being the only person uh, who got an attack, it's going to follow you, and uh, it is going to get here and do uh, whispers of madness. It's going to choose you, Viser, and Bloodscale. I need you all to make a wisdom saving throw. Can't, I'm stunned! Ha! Wisdom saving throw. Well, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, Not God. very wise of you. What's that? It's a luck. Oh, luck point? Perfect. Yep, yeah, that'll save you. And then, uh. Usa. Oh, I didn't. Okay. What, what, what kind of save was it again? Wisdom? Wisdom. Yeah. Okay. So, um, with that blood scale saving, you must use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against Issa. Jesus. Oh, great. Oof. Oh, that's mm. better than the damage. Uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge, reduce it to half, so you take five points of slashing damage. And that is the end of its turn. Viser, you are unstunned and looking down the this spirit creature. Hey. I'm gonna disengage. Perfect. Up here. It's corner. I'm gonna point at its tomb. Uh, the thing that it was protecting. Uh, I'm going to uh, hold uh, lightning as an action. Uh, one thing I would say is there is a fire elemental between you and it, and it is starting to look pretty dis. It's like it's starting to dissipate. It looks pretty rough at this point. Uh, then I'm, I'm gonna point at this one then. I'll move down and I'm gonna point at its shit. And I'm gonna tell it it can stop now. Like, and it, it, with as much uh, power as I can make it look like is happening in my arm, I don't know if holding an action does sure. that the most or something. I'm gonna tell um, it. Before you, 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 cause to hold the, the spell, you have to do a spell slot. Do you wanna just do an intimidation check first? Uh, I'll just use minor illusion. Okay. To perfect. crackle lightning and stuff through my hand, cause I'm gonna perfect. have to use. 
Alright, go and roll an intimidation gonna, check at advantage. Uh, well, I'm just gonna say, like, listen, you have the power to stop us from damaging any of the things that you're protecting, and we're trying to get through this peacefully. Now, I could kill you, or I could, uh, but I will blow away this thing right now if you don't knock it off. Alright, give me that intimidation check advantage. Twenty. 20. And so, as you as you 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 yell this out, um, the rest of you watch as it turns and is just. As it's just it says very well, leave my slumber. As it dissipates. Crying out loud, these they're, they're so unreasonable <laughs> sometimes. I tell you, oi! All right, don't take any from, thing from the chest that's all offerings and whatnot anyway. Uh, it's for their gods or something. I don't well, know. I try to stand somewhere that I'm not going to ruin anything and <laughs> wait for them to move so I don't hurt them. You quickly move out and then, uh, so everybody kind of gets out of your way real quick as you... you... I'm going to go this way. There we go. There we go. Eddie, it was, uh, yeah. You said that was a dead end? Uh, yeah, um, real quick, I'm going to go back and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put down uh, a king's knife. Oh, one of the uh, Duergar King's Knife? Yeah, I've got two of them. Okay, so um, as you lay the, the, the King's Knife, uh, where are you putting it? I'm just curious. Uh, that thing went back into its sarcophagus, right? That's correct, and the, the chest next to it is open. Okay, uh, I'm going to kind of use the King's Knife to push the chest closed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on the top of the sarcophagus and just, I'm sorry, I thought we were supposed to find more names in there um take this as a way of apology all right and so uh, as you put the the king's knife on the the chest of the minotaur um uh let me get a, a perception check from vicer to see if you hear this oh tat what up dude thank you for the subscription two months Hey! Thank you so much. Hey, right on. <laughs> yeah, toot. toot. <laughs> oh, party! Okay, Chat a toot. Toot toot toot. Uh, party going. Oh, that's a wrong one. You said you needed a perception check for me. Is that yes. right? <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Where is my? Thanks Thank so much. Bum, 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 we love bum, bum, it. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> more later we're breaking the mode but thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh 17 yes um so as the um the um the the knife is put down uh i say you hear a i am sorry the anger is always ready especially now keep your offering as an apology and then so um uh Uza, you just hear and then you see on the blade itself um, a line of gold pieces goes from the tip of the sword all the way to the hilt and it floats back up. You may add 15 gold to your inventory. Cool. I gotta apologize more often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> they said there was no moral <laughs> of the story. All right. <laughs> I'm going to turn to Ty. Zephyr. Zephyr, I'm sorry. And then hold out my hand. Ty. Yes. To your party. Oh. oh, yes. All right. Thank you all for being here. We're having a wonderful time. We're playing DMZ to catch you off. They're going through this amazing murder maze. And so far, they've gone through traps, monsters, defeating the other party on the ceiling. They haven't found the unseal yet, but they sent an angel against them to fight them to the death. And they've defeated them, left it on, and are finding all sort of juicy lore about Minotaurs and the creation of the world! Oh yeah! There we go. Party recap. There you go. <laughs> Noise. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> party recap, recap the best kind of party all right um where would you guys like to go next uh the only direction we can oh well shit is this just gonna take um i'm gonna do a quick cartographer's tools to draw out where we've been Perfect. and see if this is just gonna plant us right in, into a fucking circle okay make a, a cartographer tools check 
got to grab it. Uh, 15. Uh, as you're looking at it and you're tracing everything out, and with how, how amazing of a map you've been making so far, you realize you have gotten turned around and you are headed back in the direction you were coming from. Okay, well, we need to go back. So, like, it, you were, like you find the center and you're, you find yourself going up and kind of looping around. Like, you're getting led back to the center, so. So if I feel like if I go forward, I feel like we're going to hit the center again? Uh, you feel, yeah, you feel you'll either hit the center or, or continue head back and heading back towards the beginning. Um, okay. That's kind of where it feels like it's uh, leading. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to tell everybody that, and you guys want to push forward and go, get back to the center, or do we want to just backtrack to uh, a direction we know? Uh, I'm going to start heading back to the main room that we were in. Don't forget about the spike trap. It's not disabled. It's just oh, been circumvented. I'm going to clear it with fire. Clear it with fire? Well, you need... <laughs> the, 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 the gravity trap. Yes. All right, okay, so you guys, are you guys, um, because this is a maze and I thought this might happen, you guys, would you guys like me to reset you back to the center? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so give me one moment. Hang on, I'm doing it the long way. <laughs> Just let him do it for you. Okay. <laughs> but I'm having fun with it. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> All right, so okay, you guys so we went back at the center. What you guys have done this one. Yeah, we went that way, and that one was up here. Came from the south. All right, let's yeah, go. So we have to go to the east. Let me grab a beer real quick. I will be right back. Uh, let the people know about Demon Emporium. <laughs> Level up your gaming. No, you know Demon what I did? Demon Emporium. I what remembered do? to do a thing that Ty never does and put a plug for this community promo of Molly's Discord. Because everybody else plugs crap in there. We might as well. Hey, as, <laughs> as they should. As they should. Yes. <laughs> Tis the community promo. <laughs> Tis what it's for, in fact. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. And if I needed dice right now, boy howdy, I would know where to go. Unfortunately, I have tons and tons of dice. <laughs> so I would too really many dice. my grandma's sock drawer. Honestly, I've got way too <laughs> That's many not dice. sanitary. <laughs> so instead, go to dmemporium.com. <laughs> yeah, plus grandma, only, she only has those six-sided dice. Womp womp. What am I supposed to do with me? Uh, apparently, oh, oh, I by the apocalypse smell like is what that you should do. piss and polygrip. <laughs> All right, and we're back. If you want to buy so, dice that don't feel, don't smell like cat piss and pop. I love here. my grandma, but she doesn't take good care of her dice. Let me tell or you. Know, honestly, honestly, this still sounds like a Shadowrun <laughs> game. Hey. Oh yeah, Shadowrun, yeah. powered by the apocalypse. So many games. All right, so uh, wh where have you guys decided to head? I think we're gonna head east. To the east. east. This one. Yes. If uh, if north up west. is north and That's west. down is south. <laughs> Oh, east. east. Right. I'm so sorry. I'm paying attention. The All other right. east. East. Investigation checks. Okay. Investigation. With guidance. I'm paying in back. I don't need it. I'm going to do it anyway. That was cool. 30, 30 sir. All right, perfect. So, uh, with a 30... Let's see. All the way up through here. Uh, with a 30... Uh, you were able to bypass this junction because you just do a quick glance. You're like, that's ah, a fucking dead end. Fuck that. <laughs> um, dead ends. I think 30 in investigation. Um, so you reach this point. You know, yeah, well, let's reward this natural 20. Um, you reach this point and all of a sudden you, you, you do realize uh, at, you, you hear, because you're looking super, super carefully, you, you hear there's a, a difference. Uh, there's noise coming from the north, but no noise coming from the east. What kind of noise is coming from the north? Uh, from the north, let me pull it up here. It is going to be the sound of combat. There's definitely like Ooh. somebody's oh. fighting something. Um, hey, Bloodscale, I think we found the Unseal. I think I, I think I found the Unsealy. Um, I hear combat up ahead of us. You want to go spy on them? Sure. Can right. I can um, I like, poke my head out in combat and be like, hey, you guys have to leave now. And no, then no, no, no. The disengage is... If, if we see them or they see us, we have to announce our presence and then turn around and leave. 
Right, that's what I mean. I just go out there and I say, well, hey, I see you. Why do we have to turn around? Hold on, what if we avoid them entirely by becoming invisible and walking around them? Do we have to, is that an option, or do we have to announce ourselves? As I thought it was only if we were attacking. No, it was if we ran into each other, but if they don't notice us because we're invisible, I mean... But if they call us out, we have to then break invisibility and be like, you got us disengaging. Oh, that's fair. Um, so, I mean, or, or, you got that thing where you can go really far, right? I have dimension like, door, but it only only works for one person at a time. But if you, but if we see the exit, you can dimension door to the exit and tell them to go the fuck away after the fight. I like the way you guys right? think. Right? So just just saying, you can be in front fight. of the exit and be like, you guys can't come through here, you gotta disengage, get the fuck out. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. Let's see what we can see. Let's see how close to the door we can get. Okay, okay. Alright. Right, so okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna smile in first. See I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna exit. head up that way. Okay, stealthily. Um, are you casting invisibility? And if so, on who? Uh, do we still have pass without a trace? Or Yeah, yeah I yes. have invisibility. Um, if I use it, we're gonna have, we're gonna be kind of low on resources. Use it be I'm gonna sneaky be... enough. If we get spotted, we get spotted. But they are also fighting, so they probably... Hang on, right. so before sure. all this happens, why don't I drop my... No, no. No, no, no. Not yet. No, I only have like 24 you. hit points left on that, and then I'm on 32. Yeah, we'd much rather you have the extra 24 right now. Yeah, especially if you only have 32. Yeah. She yeah. would be able to heal herself, though. Exactly, I'd be able uh, to heal everybody. But we don't need you to Ooh. drop it right now. Okay. We might be able to... We're trying to... We're trying to, we're trying to snake this out from under them. <laughs> okay. Well, how can I sneak by passing. if I'm a giant fire? We only need one person at the exit to be like, Hi, we're oh. here. Fuck you. Go away. Oh, okay. Oh, by no. the way, don't go south. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go, go back the way you came. Go that way. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're I mean, gonna if you want to can... turn me invisible, that'll help me even more. Um, I think I might have to turn myself invisible. I only have three spell slots left, or four of them. No, let me see how many points there's I have. There's a, a there in combat, this let's just okay. try. Okay, you got it, boss. Uh, and I'm and gonna I'm your pass without trace is still up, so we'll yeah. just we'll just stay in range. Yep. I'm gonna you, do my Keep looking for traps, buddy. And, uh, my investigation. Why did the thing disappear? There we go. Okay, stealth 27, stealth 23. Yeah, that spell slot burns. You're ruining some points to get a spell slot? Yeah. Are you turning yourself invisible? Uh, not yet. Uh, Uz is still seeing what he can see, right? Mm. Yes, okay. Those are some good rolls. Strong some rolls. Great rolls, strong rolls, good rolls. Alright, so, um, coming up around here. Uh, you recognize, uh, with a 24. Seven. Seven. Yeah, no. um, looking up, you see some more spikes on the ceiling. So you grab the the wall and then uh, make an acrobatics check if you want to flip yourself onto the other side. Um, skipping, just basically throwing your feet over and do kind of like a so you you don't activate the tiles and and reverse gravity. Twenty, easy enough. Make yourself a way around that trap, and then uh, as you you head forward, uh, kind of this T here. Which way would you like to go? Which way do I hear sounds of combat coming from? The left. I'm gonna so, go left. So, are we trying to stay in range of him for the pass without a trace, or no? I was just gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna. Actually, we might as might as well. These corridors are narrow enough that. Plus, you can point out track. I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. I didn't mean to push it twice, so that I can um, get closer closer to uh, Uza. Is... Um, do you want to wait? Cause it's, uh, just a minute. Yeah, I'll wait. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so to get across do you have this regular crowd, invisibility? Uh, yeah, because you don't have to... Um, one minute. Yeah, regular invisibility, uh, you don't... As long as you're not doing stuff, you should be fine. Yeah, that one lasts for like eight hours, doesn't it? I don't have or that an, one. An hour. Oh. Okay. Um, so, uh, go ahead, everybody trying to make it across, give me a... I thought I wouldn't need greater invisibility if uh, I had invisibility. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're gonna do a similar thing where I tie a rope. Perfect. So, uh, go ahead and make your... your people. Athletics or so acrobatics that way. check with advantage. Because of the toe line. And then uh, just a straight dex check for the, the fire element. Athletics was poor. 
But I did see this before. Uh, it's okay. You um, with the the rope and everything, because um, Uza have, having the pinted on his side can can uh, the pinted pull stops you from. So with the twelve, it's it's a super low check right now. So you, you pulled yourself through. Um, Vicer and uh, Tazir, make your athletics or acrobatics your choice. Oh, that's good because I'm more better at one of those. <laughs> <laughs> well, one is a negative one, the other is a two, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. Here's a flip. Don't flip. Do a flip. So, Vicer, you. Uh, ah, oh, my. Okay, do so, Vicer, as you, you pull yourself through, flip. you do a corkscrew <laughs> and kind of land, you're like, haha. And then Tazir uh, does the same thing, does like a, a triple backflip, but as she, she measures it just right, so the gravity pulls her up, and then as she's uh, the gra- she comes outside of the gravity field on the other side, and then puts a twist on the flip, and then lands and is like, haha. <laughs> I like golf clap. Like, my hands don't touch or anything, I just mind cl- clapping, like, very impressed. Like, oh, yes, Rotham. Billy. Billy. Everybody makes their, gets out of the, the way of the incoming fire elemental. Uh, can I get your dexterity check in your flame elemental form? Dex check! No, 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 Dex check. 15. That'll do it. You make Sorry, one more time. Across. No, 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 all right, investigation 18. Uh, so going forward... I press um, buttons on it, it makes no I know, it's the best. I love it so much. Um, Sorry. It's okay. Uh, 18. Uh, going forward, <laughs> uh, so you do see, um, as you, you come up to, to about here, uh, this wall ripples um, like ready to jump. You recognize it now, having interacted with these walls before. Uh, this You recognize this is the, the one where the, the wall leaps forward, and so as you see that ripple, you kind of start looking, but you, it's really hard to find the stone on the ground. I um, say, come talk to your peeps. At eight? I, uh, I, I'm not. So, uh, we see the, the, the stone on the floor? Uh, yeah, uh, we don't see, the, you don't see the stone yet, but you see the wall rippling, so you can, you know, you can talk to the wall. Alright, I got it. Hey, how's it going? Hope things are well. We're doing all right. Thanks for for, for inquiring. Um, we <laughs> were hoping to get past. Uh, we we have noticed another trap. Uh, we don't want to break anything, so we thought it'd be easier to uh, nicer to to ask you all to uh, uh, disarm it if you could. So, uh, persuasion check at advantage, because they're getting to know you. Persuasion nineteen. That'll do it. Um, so, like, desperately looking at the floor, and then you also you see one pebble just flip up, and then tick, 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 somersault until it connects back with the wall. All right, should be good. All right, so mm-hmm. Uza, as you step forward uh, in front of you, you see the unseely in combat with this giant bug creature. It has like 17,000 arms just all sticking out and striking out at them as the oh. the Unseely are, are holding their own. You see the Green Knight trying to get uh, its attention, k- bashing it with the shield and then diving in with it, its its broadsword. Uh, the Cyclone Knight both forms its uh, its um, arm, extra arms and spirit self sprout, sprout out of its back as it spins around and, and attacking in multiple strikes. Uh, just uh, this flurry of destruction um, and then you see the the flame knight, like on the opposite side of the green knight, blade f- blade fully ignited in in one hand and a shadow blade in the other. As this blade made of just complete f- f- uh, shadows formed together as it fights in to this uh, this creature. Uh, you see as it's diving in, as it steps back, it blows this breath of fire onto the this this massive thing in front of it. And then you see in the corner the the form of the undying prince reach out its hand and seems to pull life from this giant bug-like creature that they are all fighting. I pass all of that back in just as much detail. Uh, you see can, exit. Uh, can, we, can we see on the other side of this? Uh, you cannot see all the way across, but you see this is a giant 
room and you see there are two giant minotaur statues uh each with these offerings of of meat and you see these offerings are fresh there's there's blood seeping out of them as they seem to have been put here very very recently one is a giant heart uh the other some sort of other organ from a, a very large creature as well oh shit were we supposed to be collecting organs okay <sighs> um we could steal them <laughs> I mean, you want to cast invisibility and then just go pop on the other side of them? Yeah, I'm gonna cast invisibility. I'll see if I can find a door here real quick. Perfect. So I'm gonna go whoop, greater invisibility. Bam. I'm okay. Gonna... So, being invisible, oh, um, let Same. me get a stealth check from you. Alright, and uh, still plus 10, right? Because we're gonna we'll be... pass without a trace. On the opposite side of them, you'll be outside of the 30 feet, so it won't. I'll need to know what it is without it, unfortunately. Uh. Sorry, I really can't see the room like at all. Oh, I don't sorry. understand. Let me, but let me, I let me give you let me give you the the overview so you can see. So, so this is the the unseely are. Can you see now? Like what they're fighting? Okay, so they're fighting this thing. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're fighting this I... this huge thing, and then you have these big statues with these meaty offerings, and uh, right. that's kind of what you. Dimension see. has like an incredible range. It I'm is 120 feet. 120 feet plus uh, I have smell sniper, spell sniper. It actually has five, a range of 500 feet. I'm sorry, what? You see 500 feet. Dimension door is 500 feet. That is awesome. Okay. Pick your point you'd like to dimension door to, and with dimension door you can take somebody your own size or smaller. I just do don't know what I can see. Uh, like if I can see, see the any, exit from here. Do you have your um your dark vision monocle? Uh, yeah. Equipped. Okay. Yeah, so it's been, it's a part of my mask. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's right. I forgot about it. So um, in that case, let's go ahead and increase I this have... to one second. Bam. Can you see now? Yes. So you see so... a a you see exactly what you see on the map. All right. So there's a second chamber across the way. Um. How far across is the chamber? Uh, Roughly. So this chamber, let me measure it out real quick. Uh, it's about 50 feet across. Zephyr, do you have any... If you were in a fire elemental, do you have any way of going very far, very fast? Do you have, like, a misty step? Do you have a... I'm holding my finger up, and I'm looking... <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> one second. Just one second. Because I, I can take one person. Who's it? I can also stealth somebody before I. Or uh, uh, make someone invisible before I uh, come across. Uh, go across, right? I only That's got right, trees so right. <laughs> And there are but also if, trees. If just these because, guys. Tazir, do you have Missy Step? Oh, yeah, I do. That's only like 30 Missy feet though. Step. Yeah. Walk, so Tazir's covered. Yeah. Well, Actually. No, but, Missy steps 30 feet. Never mind. Yeah. No. Just. Uh, just. It's space I can. Yeah. But it's 30 feet, so you'd be right in the middle of shit. I have an idea. Me? If I say, if you take me across. Uh huh. So, so I can tell them you get to disengage one of those two ways. Because we split our fucking party. What are you? They're done oh, fighting. They and if they want to fight, we've got a pincer attack on them anyway, so... Something. So, take I'm down. I should be the same size as him. You're both We're considered medium enough. creatures, as long as you're not, like... Uh, all right, medium. Medium meaty boys. Yeah. You're, you're two medium boys. <laughs> the weakest <laughs> meaty boy you ever saw. Negative <laughs> the meatiest <laughs> meaty boy I've ever seen, <laughs> if this works. Perfect. So I uh, put, put my hand <laughs> on uh, uh, blood scale, and I teleport us... Go and ping where you'd like to be. Right here. Bing. Oh, Bing. sorry. Okay. Bing. Behind this pillar, enough. Uh, you you can only go within still line in sight, so it'll be you'll be here. It says, or you can visualize. You know what? I'd say you could visualize that then. All right. I'm just putting this behind this pillar a little bit so they can't see us. <laughs> uh, <you're> <laughs> <laughs> okay, Goku. Instant transmission, <laughs> baby. Oh, yeah. And so the rest of you see uh, Viserys kind of... And he reaches out and he touches uh, Bloodscale. And this this, this <laughs> As both of them uh, seem to almost like burn away together in this, this flash of smoke. And just... 
and the, you two, the, uh, both of you, you see, um, like the, just like this ripple from like a, almost like a heat wave ripple just come up as the, from the floor up just shimmers and changes into this new position you're in. Cool. Are we in and, front of an exit? So yeah, I'm do we see side, anything friends. left or right? So well, actually, once you, once you actually, um, I wanted to say apparate because of course I do. Come on. Recorporealize. <laughs> Recorporealize. Give me one second. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought I had a thing for this. Just a random Squaliac pop up. Hi, Squaliac. Actually, yes. I just did <laughs> Squaliac's token. Uh, I'm not even kidding. Uh, character paint <laughs> popped up. No. So. <laughs> oh, did it really? But, oh, yeah. yeah, I thought you meant that to happen. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so you see Squaliac. Uh, he's standing at the the in this middle of this this mural of uh, uh, this four horned uh, like uh, Minotaur head, and and as you, you you kind of like pop on the other side, you see he's just like, who does it better? Although there's only two of you, where's the rest? Yeah. You hear the sounds of battle one, behind you. One moment. Uh, I'm, I'm. I can teleport back, quicken spell, to save on my spell slots. Sure. Uh, I so I could get there and back, one more time. Okay. Easily. Who are you taking with you? And what do you want to say when you pop out on the other side? Well, uh, here's the thing. I'm just like, who in the party can actually make it across this without my teleport? Because I'm trying to, I'm just trying to, oh no, I should be able to burn all my spells through this. I'm just going to, I'm going to be trading in spell slots for other spell slots and stuff. That's all. Or for points and doing the whole conversion. Well, are we trying to get across <laughs> this? Or Sorcerer bullshit. going to make them leave this okay. room. I so I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to pop back uh, next to Uza and I'm going to be like, I think we got it. I'll be right back. And then I'm going to pop Uza back up. I'm going to speak oh. in the bead. Zephyr probably dropped her form. Yeah, so I drop my fire elemental form, and then I'm just me. Perfect. Uh, and I assume you're putting everybody going. behind pillars, just so... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, out of, out of sight. Perfect. And so no. you drop your fire elemental form. Spell slots to... God, oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I trust okay. you. Like, <laughs> the, the math on yeah, that, yeah. because you can get so many spell slots... Um, so many... Yeah. Uh, Points okay, out all of right. larger spell slots, it's fine. Like, I, I, I'm, you I'm haven't gonna, used... Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna to drop... Uh, um, I was gonna use a bunch of my lower spell slots. Sure. So, I don't know. The, the moment, I just the moment that he gets back with Zephyr, I just go up to Spiliak and I just offer my hand, I'm like, we made it, right? <laughs> I did you have. Woo! did you have? And, I, and then so you, you all kind I of start dancing. Up. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, did, they're, they're still fighting that thing. Aren't they gonna like ruin, like wreck some of the 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 whole, you know, this place? Like, shouldn't we stop them? Let them know that they lost. Oh, don't worry, I'll take care of that. Don't you worry. <laughs> and uh, I mean, as... we can we can be smug and make them disengage in the middle of their fight. Dude, <laughs> what, no, no, could. let's let's yeah, just take out victory with uh oh. with, with you know, a little bit of grace. And he, he, he st as you stick out your hand, he sh as he shakes your hand, uh, you see the corners of the world seem to like curl up and wrap around you. And as Can I bob it as a free action? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, the vertigo he cause, it's that's you know it's fair. Uh, and so as the as everything wraps around you, you you see everything all of a sudden, like all the the world around you has become a, a sphere, and then it shatters, and you find yourself back in the Sealy Court. Oh man, I didn't even need to take that potion. I didn't even need to use half the shit I prepared for. <laughs> well, you would if you would have guys would have fought the last battle instead of just teleporting past it. Oh my the god! Number, so what you're saying is is Viser through his bag of mediocre spells was able to <laughs> circumvent <laughs> a ton of fucking a battle fights. circumvented <laughs> is a battle won. Oh man. Yes. Two in a row. Fucking, <laughs> fucking smart use of your spells. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was hoping to get enough out of you that you couldn't do that, but you you legitimately conserved. You guys did so fucking well on managing your threats. You you used a lot Fuck. more diplomacy than you needed to. Like, oh man. Oh, yeah. 
Making friends with the walls? That's a new <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that one. <laughs> so, yeah, we um, technically still have thing. some gold minotaur horns, too. You do. Yeah, that you'll need to, to identify or, or have identified and see what they do. Um, snip, snap. Snap, guys. Okay, um... I don't. I. I I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Uh, I do not have anything else prepared today. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I thought this would take a while. <laughs> I, I, this is one of the very few times that, like, it's such a big important moment. I don't want to BS it because I know there's. This is. This is a huge moment, and I legitimately I did not going. think you guys were going. Keep going. <laughs> All right, oh, I will try to do this. On. Okay. Just give us a yeah. celebratory dinner before the I story know, contest. Perfect. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, with that, as the the world shatters apart and you find I yourself things I want to do, standing inside the uh, the Sealy Court once again, uh, there's a moment, uh, and you see all of in, the, in the that, it just just as this, there's the silence that comes over, like just as I see everyone else materialize, I'm gonna uh, shoot into the air a little firework that has the Dawnforge symbol pop out. So like the minute they read to materialize, they just hear. A <laughs> And then look up and there's the, <laughs> our symbol. In the split second, as you you send up the firework, as that as it flies up, you see the all of the the unseely, all of their weapons getting ready to strike, and all of a sudden they're just like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and as it explodes, everything around you just as, as this huge cheer goes out from the entire court. Everybody's clapping, cheering. You see, uh, as you've re-entered this, all of the, the celebratory flowers, all at the same time, you see the shimmer of gold as all of the, the green um, holding every all of the, the flowers up, all of the petals and everything shimmers, and there's a blast of sunlight coming from the throne as everything turns to a gold. The, the only um, color remaining besides gold being the ivory of the statues, the the golds, uh, sorry, not the golds, the, the, the purples, the reds, uh, the, the the whites, and these dark blacks of these flowers um, staying around. You see the unseely uh, queen rather unpleased. You see, like, as she's standing there, uh, she just... Cut out a bunch. Oh, as the... Oh, uh, what was the last thing you heard? A whole bunch. So about the unseely queen. Oh, you see the unseely queen. Uh, she stands there uh, completely emotionless as she stares forward. She turns around, and you see the crumpled form of the Squall Knight at her side. She reaches down, picks it up, picks the Squall Knight up by her neck, and then tosses her forward onto the court. And the, the form unconscious just rolls towards the center. And Squaliak, uh, he kind of smiles. He gives her a little bow. He reaches down as this, the whole time, there's cheers erupting from everything. You see uh, unicorns are doing pa like flight patterns above you, dropping like rainbows and sparkles. Pegasus. And Pegasi, sorry. Thank you. Um, and then Squaliak <laughs> kind of gives her a shrug. He reaches down and he, and he, he puts his hand on the, um, uh, the, the Squall Knight. And you see the Squall Knight's eyes pop up and she... <sighs> And you see demasks her form um, as she looks at Squaliak. Uh, she is this cold winter Eldrin, but as she looks up, she kind of gives a, a smile, and you see um, her skin kind of almost flush from her forehead first and drown to her face uh, into a green as her hair goes from white to the the golden as she returns to more of her spring Eldrin form. She stands up. She uh, she looks towards the throne, bows to her queen, and then looks over at the unseely. Just gives a little smile, a curt nod, and walks over to the side of the Sealy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I could make a little like thunder crash sound effect happen. No, I'm just kidding. You can absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Mind illusion allows allows you to do those sort of things. And as you let the thunder crack, uh, she's walking away. You you see you catch the eye of Squaliak, who's he just gives you a one eyebrow and then like a kind of nod uh and then uh so the, <laughs> the as you you look towards the the throne um you see for the first time uh of Oph ophelia she she kind of not ophelia that's not right oh ophelia no um ophelia is from hamlet right yeah titania uh, yeah exactly wrong wrong shakespearean play sorry guys uh titania for the first time she <laughs> she kind of she looks down and you see she pulls up her hands and then just three claps and smiles broadly and you see see she's um looking over you you see that she's looking at the the form of her sam who's like he's got his chest out and he's like super proud of himself and you see he looks over to his dad and gives a, a nod and you see oberon give a, a just this uh, for the first time you see the facade of oberon kind of break as he his his severeness 
and he gives like a smile and he shakes his head and he raises an eyebrow and, and nods at his son who's just like hi <laughs> um got him that's proud got him <laughs> uh, you see no, the, the rest scale. <laughs> oh yeah now <laughs> well, you see the the there's like an exchange of money and you see um at this point uh a uh her Sam turns to you and he's like, get your hats out. And he kind of hands you, he hands you these, these really, um, like really nice sewn to get like these really nice hats that complete the outfit of this, this silk that has fire f- flaming through it. And, uh, as he hands you them, you, you, you know, like you're looking down at them and all of a sudden coins start raining down on you as there's, um, all of these coins and flowers and stuff. I put my hat on. I'm going to get my backpack out. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, you guys, uh, I'm holding the bag of holding open. I'm gonna start playing <laughs> on my on my finger violins. I start up the tune of the uh, Don Forge Company to play while the coins are falling. Uh, so, I'm also gonna tell Maverick to start grabbing coins and put them in the backpack as well. Perfect. Maverick starts diving down. He starts picking up coins and he starts throwing them into your hands. As uh, all of these coins start, you see her Sam just standing in the middle of it. He raises his arms out, and as he puffs out his fist, he's like. I give you the true rulers of the world, the ones who you would least expect. The fools! Never forget them, as they are important. A fool is the one you least expect. A fool is the one you've written off. But never forget, in the longest run, we are all fools. (laughs) And as he laughs, uh, your music kind of kicks up and and even more coins fly in. Uh, You can all write 300 gold apiece. Um, I think I will. You know, I think I just uh, might. My God, I have 1,200. I I can't do it that way. Um, As he's saying, the fools, of course, and I'm just going to look up and my hands and my beak is just full of gold pieces. <laughs> and then I go oh, back to it. <laughs> oh man, what am I gonna buy with this stuff? I'm gonna spend all my money on clothes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Fluffy. Uh, to our 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 Fluffy to Rebird. Thank you for the follow. I'll I'll get that pup in just a second. I promise. All right. So, uh, you do what now with your radio visibility? A Tory bird. Welcome. <laughs> Is that a Toriyama reference? I love it. All right, uh, Vicer, what did you say you're doing? Oh, golly. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Oh, sorry. I, I had a thought... thing. Okay. What would uh, you like I think to do? Uzu was doing stuff, too. Uh, okay. For oh, okay. Uh, I was just playing the, the song of the Dawn Forge Company on those finger violins. Perfect. Excellent. And as you're playing it, you see, um, uh, because you played this before, uh, some people already know the tune and they're singing along with it. It's crazy. Ah, Tori, that makes much more sense. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Mesnos's hand and like raise it in the air and like start hooting and hollering. So as you do, um, you raise his hand into the air and then he kind of, as his hand's in the air, he, he looks over to you and he gives you this kind of like, like almost a, like this super proud smile. And then he takes your hand and he turns it around and he s- kicks you off into a dance. And he starts to take you into a, a small dance in the little circular you are. And as he does this, you see um, a lot of people on the uh, uh, in the surrounding uh, cheering and everything. They start to like kind of uh, there. You see it's like cheers and then like, I feel like, and then you see other couples. People start coupling off and start dancing as this celebration is, is kicked off. Uh, you see at this point uh, tables and things are starting to rise from the floor, but uh, places where people are dancing are, are leave, left magically bare for a dance floor. Let's go. What would you like to do? I'm gonna go bug Hurin again. Hurin? I'm doing that a lot, but I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Perfect. And Hurin, who is uh, set carefully at these stairs, waiting your return. Um, he kind of like stands up at this point and kind of gives a shake, and then uh, uh, you walk up. What would you like to say? I hate to do this to you again, but I need your help with something. Very well. What may I help you with? How much of that dragon material would you need to make suitable gifts for the three heads of court, the Ent, Mm. the Pegasus, and you? (laughs) I am not of this court, but I know. I I believe proper gifts could be made. Uh, I think a vertebrae apiece. As while we are large, there are smaller bits to us. You could do a 
single horseshoe for the Pegasus. Uh, as for the Ent, just a enchanted piece, maybe some runes carved into it to grow into his branches. As for so, myself, a single bead I, to go around my horn would be wonderful. I pull out uh, only a little bit, but I pull out one of the back spines instead. Like, yeah. how about using these as material? It's still the same creature, it's just different form. Mm. Yes, that would work excellently. So I already have a ring. I still have one ring. Perfect. So, um, spare. With, with that, um, he takes the you, you as you present the um, the pieces. He kind of he he leans forward, and you see as he closes his eyes and as he gestures with his horn, like almost with a sweeping motion, uh, they kind of float up into the air, and you see one of the pieces, uh, like the, the full circle the, the bottom falls into it, and it shapes itself into a, a horseshoe. Another almost doesn't change changes hardly at all, as it it's, it's just becomes kind of slimmed down uh, to fit perfectly over uh, Hurin's horn. And the other, kind of, uh, as it it's weird. It looks like the the outside bits kind of chip off and then pull towards the center as the the whole thing kind of solidifies itself into a rock. And um, do you have the green attuned, or in your head right now? Uh, I I did earlier saltily pull it out of Icer's mask. Okay, so it's true. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Having the 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 green attuned, um, um. you do see in Sylvan it says. Long and magical life. Cool. Perfect. So it was one thing for each of the three effectively legendary creatures, and then mm -hmm. one thing for each of the heads of court, but I do have a spare ring already. Okay. Uh, for the heads of court, did you mean like uh, the two queens and uh, her Sam? Even her Sam. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what would you be interested in making? Making the, well, just more uh, rings is fine. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so um, the, I think one the vertebrae ring... made two rings last time. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, so you can easily make these rings. Um, I'm gonna give if... the one and a half and just say make make all three. Perfect. I don't, I don't so like easy enough. Ring. So uh, the uh, he goes in and and forms these magically into these these smaller rings. Uh, you see, um, one says uh, vibrance and warmth. The other says, uh, change and death. And the last says, a fool smile lasts forever. Oh, well, I need to write that down, apparently. Because my brain just immediately shut that out. <laughs> no, I mean, what is it? It's sliding off my brain like so, uh, tepid was... oatmeal on a plastic plate. <laughs> yeah, one, was, one was a fool <laughs> smile, one was change and death. And what was the other one? Uh, the other one was... Um, Oh my god, my brain just... Uh, the ceiling. Uh, it was, um... Holy crap, my brain just forgot it. Um, <laughs> warmth Something and... doesn't doesn't fade like a full smile. Warmth and vibrance? Warmth and, uh, warmth and, uh, uh yeah, a war uh, warmth and vibrance. We'll say, uh, you know, we'll just redo it. Uh, warmth and vibrance grows. We'll do it for that. Oh, typing. This is so much better. <laughs> there you go. And then, uh, will, uh, last one was uh, a full smile lasts forever. And uh, with the <laughs> with the implication that life is ridiculous. Uh, I thought you were putting that in chat. It disappeared. Oh, I am so sorry. Um... <laughs> Rose. Clickety clack clack kitty. Clickety clack clack clickety clack tickety tack. All right. Um, there you go. And ask the other dumb question. <laughs> sure. Because I already forgot it. What was on the uh, gifts for the the three creatures? I know that uh, was. So the only one um, that that had any writing was the the kind of thing that was formed into a stone. It said um, um, like magic and um, magical and law. Basically, in, in it's a the translation long and magical uh, life, not, long and magical life, exactly. So, it's like their live long and prosper sort of thing. Cool. And I'm, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm obviously <laughs> going to make sure that I give the bead so to the Kieran. Perfect. And he kind of like <laughs> bows and lets you, uh, and then like if slides on easily onto the horn. 
But I, I am going to say, uh, I might be trying to get all six of you together for a small conversation. Very well. I will... Big, big important things. This, this is not... Do not get me wrong. This is not an offering to make you do anything. This is an offering of friendship. But a small... Just... Even just listen to me for like five minutes would be fantastic. Your words ring with truth. I will do my best to convince them to make this happen. I am talking in Sylvan, and I'm also saying I'm going to make here Sam try to get everybody together because, you know. But here Sam actually is. So it's at the point here Sam is, is, uh, has wandered over to you, and he, he kind of like slaps you on the back. He's like, well done. Uh, even more crafting in. Uh, for the I'm going to slap him on the chest, but I have the <laughs> ring in the palm. Perfect. He takes it and just kind of gives you this big smile as this kind of like red welt kind of appears on his chest. <laughs> and just so, just so. <laughs> and I am talking in Sylvan. And I basically say the same thing to him, whether why it's just this gift is not for any boons or anything. It's, it's just more signal of friendship. I'm even that- offering this to the rest of the teams. But yeah, of- maybe if we can get, maybe we can get all. S- yeah, you know, the three heads of the courts and who are in there and the Pegasus and Ent who have names that I'd probably butcher uh, <laughs> together just for a small little listen to me. Fantastic. Excellent. I do think we can probably pull that off with the favor we've won this day. I will talk to them. Cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go over to the Pegasus and I'm like, I'm doing this to every single one. Sure. Perfect. And I'm sure so- the Queen of Errant Darkness will be a salty bitch. Uh, Iktaikar and the uh, Pegasus kind of, uh, as you walk up, gives you a, a bow and the wings kind of fold out. And then it, as it stands, uh, it, you, it lets you um, present the, um, the the gift and, and agrees uh, to meet you. Uh, <laughs> Ementian, uh, the uh, the Ent, uh, just like this single root uh, grows out and then holds the, the stone and pulls it back. And you just... Oh, I will. Be delighted. Uh, as you go to the the queen, and the entire time, uh, as this is happening, uh, drinks have appeared on, on several tables, and the the dance has turned into a full on like drinking party. Like there are people who are Beep. having a blast. As as uh, yeah. there's as I sweep by a table, I grab two glasses for me and Mezzy. Easy enough, and like Classic. he's a. <laughs> easy Honestly, enough. you get smashed right now. You probably don't have to tell a story. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting bar spice. I'm getting bar spice out of the bag. Oh Perfect. yeah, <laughs> you got, got your uh, bar spice ready. Vice 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 if there is there if there's need for a backup story, uh, I mean, you already made a song of the story. I mean, don't worry. Oh, no. I need you. As you, oh. as you say that, um, uh, so I'm <laughs> just, uh, let's just play this as though I want to walk up to hear Sam and and, and um. Uh, Blood scale. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna walk up and be like, "Hey, it's time to friggin' party. Let's get down." Do you have the bald, bald space in the bag? There, blood scale. I've brought some of my own, and with that, he kind of like <gasps> shapes his hand and he hands you some bard spice, and it oh, is. Oh Lord, have mercy! Look at that! Like, like, it's like, incredible. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy yourself. You've earned it. I've got this next part. It's <laughs> the least. I mean, but I mean, you know, I just want to say that, like, um, you know. It's been fun. Uh, we <laughs> definitely helped you out, like a lot, Absolutely. like a lot, a lot. A lot. And like, uh, don't forget that. Don't forget us. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what oh, I'm saying? Trust me, I will Same. never forget the Dawnforged Company. All right, all right. Well, and vice. I'm off to go, uh, go ruin an evening by uh, having the rest of this bard spice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, careful. If you need me, I'll probably be really easy to find. Uh, that chair looks real comfy, so. <laughs> I should be over there. But Excellent. now if we need a backup story, it's going to be Uza oh, telling no. a story about a beholder. Don't worry. Don't story. worry. I could still tell a story like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I just I'm, might ramble I'm, a little more than usual. <laughs> I'm Don't the worry best about the story. of the good storytellings. I'm going to stay sober. <laughs> just, uh, Enjoy s- yourself, Bloodscale. I promise okay. you I have the story. And uh, Uza. I gotta, I gotta present these. Enjoy yourself as well. Peasants. <laughs> Excellent. Wander off. And so as you... You, I'm head, getting, <laughs> you get what? No, no, what are you saying? Nothing. 
She wants the bard's yeah, box. I'm gonna turn and be like, look at what I got! And I show her and like, the magic I'm gonna bush. eat this mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta double down on that one. I was like, no, I'm gonna so, freak out, man. You see, as, as Tazir's like, Tazir, as you're sitting there, you're like, man, I really wish, and as you look beside you, there's a, a table, and then all of a sudden, like, a mushroom just grows out of it, and you're like, my god. Very well. <laughs> look that, look right. <laughs> that seems fine. Put it in my mouth. Excellent. So we'll uh, what happens to that later. Yeah, sure uh, Pop I... snuggling! Um. <laughs> Jesus, dear. What? Let's kill this really stinks over for this. So I've got a, a thing to go on while, while the partying is going on since Uzi can't dance for shit. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm going to try and think really hard about a badass set of paints. Okay. Does anything pop up? Uh, so as you're, you're kind of concentrating really, really, really hard, um, being Uza, uh, do you mind if I flavor this a little bit? Sorry. Oh yeah, go for it. Okay. So being Uza, I imagine you like close your eyes and then you, you like start making like painting motions with your hands. And then all of a sudden you feel like a paintbrush in your hand. You're like, ha ha. And as you open your eyes, uh, in front of you, you see Illofear uh, is handing you uh, a set of paints. And he's like, I was wondering when you were going to ask for them. <laughs> oh, I, I, you don't, you don't mind? Because I just, Absolutely. I need colors. I ran out of colors. Hunting down the pigments is half of the fun of painting in the Feywild. Don't worry. Oh, I am so st uh, And then I'm going to pull out my... Endless um, parchment. Sure. And I am going to try and get into a position like I'm up, up high uh, and off to the side, and I want to paint as much as I possibly can. Perfect. Um, I'll start with the scenery first, and then uh, I probably won't be able to get into as much detail about the people because they'll be moving. Um, but yeah, I want to get as many as them, and then uh, I want to make angry little stink lines over the um, uh, the queen of Aaron Darkness. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so uh, looking around, you're like, what? And then you love see that, the... <laughs> I love that Uza's still like a, a kid at heart in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> so seeing the the, uh, the statues, you oh, perfect. You fly up to the, the head of one, and as you sit down, it's actually pretty comfortable. You kind of like sit your back up against one of the, the ears of the horse, and you just start painting. And as you're, you're, you're painting down and looking at the scene, you're like, haha, stinky waves. And then as you're looking, you're like, oh, yeah, the other queen. And you, you turn back and you see to almost your shock, uh, this stoic form of uh, Titania and Oberon. Uh, Oberon is uh, he you see, he, he turns down and he, he puts out his hand and you think he's he's uh, he's going to help her up. And she clearly thinks the same thing as she she takes his hand and she goes to rise slowly. And then he gives her, her arm a pull and pulls her into a dance and they start dancing as well. Oh, what does the queen of Baron Darkness do? As, as you glance back over to the Queen of Air and Darkness, you see she is she's just stared completely ahead the whole time. Uh, at the spot where uh, where um, so many names. Squaliac <laughs> once uh, once stood in the middle of the room, and she's just sitting there staring at it, completely just engaged in that. And at that point, you see Bloodscale walk up to the uh, the uh, Queen of Air and Darkness. It's only then that she looks up. She she just kind of slowly closes her eyes. Tilts her head up and opens them slowly. I'm also going to add one of those weird... It's, it's like a, that, the U's that form like a plus sign in anime yep. to show that a character is Superman. I'm adding <laughs> one of those now. From JoJo's? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that. Everything's a JoJo's and, reference. And, um, fuck. The queen of the Sealy, uh, the princess of the Sealy court. She's got notice me senpai eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should draw those on uh, Uza, but yeah, okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I have a mod. This should work. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. So, Vanestra. Yes. Perfect. All yeah, right, and so... that's that's what I'm doing. You can you can snap back. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. Perfect. And so, uh, Bloodscale, as the Queen of Iron Darkness locks eyes with you, uh, she uh, for a second she she just looks completely deadpan, and then she's like. How did you know? What, that she was a traitor, or that the deal was still on? Yes. 
I, well, I, I told you how I knew she was a traitor. Weird orc potion allows me to see memories of people. I have to kind of eat the people. <laughs> we kind of messed up your boy once. I, I literally ate his thigh while I took the potion. I would trade uh, you for this. And I got in his head. Recipe. I would trade you for this recipe. What is it? <laughs> first, I'm going to do a thing first. And then we can discuss trades. Very well. And I, I present the ring with a, with like the smallest like head bow. Like like I'm not I'm not doing like the look at her. I'm doing like the yeah. present and then just bow the head down, thing. You you don't see it, but she kind of like gives your your head a fucking wary stare. She reaches out and she takes the the ring and holds it up. She's like, hmm. it's not trapped. It's not. Weirdly enchanted. It is an ancient dragon's bone, but it's something more perfectly safe. I, one of the pieces that came before. Yep, I know it's rare and valuable as fuck, and I'm just trying to say good game. That we're <laughs> we, like trying to be dicks here. And I mean, we we both held up our end of the bargain with our little loopholes, but definitely the deal was definitely uh, kept. You know, I, I, I I'm not asking for boons. However, if you could listen to me for about five minutes later, that would be great. Absolutely. I happen to have an opening. If you're interested. More <laughs> I'm power. I'm on quite a big mission at the moment, mm. which Same. I will actually discuss later. Might impact a lot of things. Well, I would trade you for what lies beyond the damage upstairs. I can I almost know. see it. I don't know what that means, but I... Your memories kind of, that you've lost. No, no, I'm kind of okay. Very well. However... I know where. Wait, what? Where do you want to meet? Uh, I'm kind of asking all of the big wigs here. It, it'd be best if we all just condensed it to everybody listening to the five minutes at once. I know that means five minutes around your sister more, but it, it's important. Only because you bring a boon of such greatness will I acquiesce to your request. And then she turns away and starts walking. Do you want to trade for the orc recipe? I'm okay with that still. She Just stops. Something else. No. At that point, she stops and turns back. Oh, yes, very much so. What do you desire? <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's a pretty powerful thing. You saw you saw exactly how powerful it could be mm -hmm. used correctly. Yes. So I think I'm going to let you offer me something. Just not the memories thing, because I don't really care about that. Very or bad. the position, because I don't really want that. Hmm. Kind of busy, I mean. I will forgive the insult. Hmm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I we almost, won. I could, I could be a little insulting. <laughs> I almost did, yeah. Um, but, but she also knows Bloodscale's not smart enough to not... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is hard to offer something of... without knowing the desires. What do you want? See, that's the problem. I don't want a whole lot. But you do want something. Or else you wouldn't be interested in trading. Honestly, I was just offering the trade because you had asked. Very well. Allow me to... When next we meet, I will have an offer for you. Okay. Excellent. I'm good with 
and then she'll turn and walk for, at that point. And then I'll uh, just wait for the Tatiana to be done with her dance before I approach them, because I'm right. not a complete idiot. And um, weirdly enough, <laughs> they dance for a while. Like, you see your, the rest of your party I, at this point. Go ahead. Noticing that the song is going on long, I'm going to walk over, like, and being, you know, bard spiced and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Wander over to the band and, like, like start trying to get them to play a different song. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Something, something like, some sort of, like, body bar tune. And <laughs> sing it loudly and obnoxiously uh, with them. <laughs> Playing my okay. my rings as we go. Okay. Something that's not offensive, hail. but like really the right the line. The the brave and true. <laughs> Has found out the green dragon. <laughs> so at that point, they they kick something off. Um, what do you want the theme of this song to be? Like uh, like just like dirty or like? Uh, I just want to. Uh, it's gonna be like a body song about a fool's luck. Um, and how luck is better than skill. How I'd rather be lucky than skilled. <laughs> <laughs> so it comes you can make that so, so dirty the, the, the lyrics are <laughs> oh I'd rather be lucky than skilled when maidens who need being f- oh, lured into having a wonderful time with me <laughs> like that sort of thing as every if you, or, you know you know the, the key to mating is luck if you're down to have a good time you're <laughs> like they're constantly turning around that, like, that end of the phrase right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't quite right. rhyme sort cool. of thing <laughs> and then uh, uh, so and that's a uh, 25. Off. Fucking hell, yeah, you did. Because the rings uh, give me advantage, so yep. we have... This party just got lit! <laughs> and so as you do, like, every single time it, it reaches that point where it, it goes for the, the, the classic Irish, like, jig twist, there's just an eruption of laughter, and, like, all of a sudden, th- this mood just went from happy to everybody is having the best time. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Canonically, I just told the best jokes. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Yeah, exactly that. Like... And so, like, and and as you're you're standing, like, uh, you're even like uh, the the words just seem to be coming to you as so like they're they're playing the this tune that that it goes to another song, but you're just making up these new lyrics to it that are just so ridiculous that like there's just eruptions of laughter from everybody around you and like these cheers and just a few like yeah oh he gets <laughs> you know all around as uh and then. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the, and the band just keeps going. You see, a lot of them are like laughing themselves as they're trying to play their instruments, and then uh, like uh, the bard spice is, is kicking with like the super eu- euphoria behind it. You're just having a beautiful time. Um, you do catch uh, Tazir's eyes as Tazir is kind of like just sitting on this chair that grew where she just was standing, and now she's just sitting looking <laughs> out at everything, just like eyes. But like as her eyes are going wide, she like she has this big smile, and you just see these crazy ripples of energy going through the fire of all of these different colors, <laughs> and she's just tripping out on everything, having a beautiful time. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, with that, um, Faf kind of float is is kind of floating around, landing on on uh, different people, and then just kind of spinning out a little euphoria breath uh, as people are like <laughs> like messing. He's just kind of like flying around, messing with people who are laughing and kind of brushing him off. He's having a wonderful time flying in like little loop de loops through the air, and eventually, Blood Scare, you catch up to him. Faf, 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 I I know you're having a really good time, but I I need you to make a rough decision. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what? Oh god, this is gonna make this boy not happy with life. What do you want to do about your brother? Oh, and he kind of like, as you say, his brother. He kind of like floats a little bit down to the floor and lands. <laughs> Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually going to try to gently scoop him up so that he's not on the floor where there's a bunch of feet possibly <laughs> dancing around. <laughs> you you kind of scoop him up, and he, like he does, he like doesn't seem to notice as he's kind of. Come here, baby bird. Pop. Come here, come here, baby bird. <laughs> he's like, well, <laughs> feed the um, baby bird. I don't know. I don't. I don't need him. I don't need here. We we can leave him, I guess. Are Maybe. you sure? You don't always have to fight the bully. Do you, do you want me to at least have these people make his life not so easy? Maybe no. bully him a little bit? <laughs> I don't have to beat him up. Yeah, but we could, right? Like, I'm not even <laughs> saying we could do it. I'm just saying that, you know. You see his eyes kind of grow really wide, and he's like, 
Just, just fuck with him a little bit. Not, not. We don't have to kick his ass. We don't have to kill him. Just, just have him fucked with. Just a little bit. A little bit would be okay. <laughs> okay, I could probably. We could actually probably swing that. Just, you know, have them, like, encroach on his domain, tell him to go fuck himself every once oh. in a while, make up a shitty nickname. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, like slipping some mushrooms into his food or something. <laughs> yeah, no, that's totally fine. No. We can make him trip balls. You want to make him trip balls? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny, because that's what we do to other people, and you kind of blast a little euphoria, bro. <laughs> I am going to, as soon as he does that, just a little puff of frost to keep it away from my face. <laughs> <laughs> Good <No. man. laughs> This has happened before! No! Okay, that sounds good. And he kind of like, fl I'm like, just flies away after that. Okay, cool. Good talk. <laughs> Zephyr, what would you like to be doing? Sweet. So I'm assuming we're still dancing and we're ecstatic and now we're slightly drunk. Oh, yeah. yeah or high, Mesnos, depending. You and Mesnos are having like a wonderful time. I prefer the term spicy. I don't think the you've ever seen... Smell you spice? Smell spice? Excuse me, do you spice? Spice? Spice. Spice, 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 spice. He's so, the spice. spice. He's spicy. I'm gonna have us dance like somewhat under this statue and in between a mantian. And he kind of floats over, so you can. I'm gonna give him a quick peck, and then I'm gonna run off towards uh, the centaur and pick up with him and start dancing with him okay. and uh, send a quick glance back. When you say a peck, do you mean like on the lips, on the forehead? Yep. On the yep. lips. You give Mesnos a full-on peck on the lips and run away. I just want to make yep. sure that's... In bright red fashion. My what are you? Face as old as Uza? Pretty much. <laughs> that is her emotional level. Okay. You know what? Good job, Uza. Good job, 22, Uza. did I see it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You're the only one who could have seen it. You're the only one with the point of view when there's, it was hidden so well. Um, You know what? That's the perfect cliffhanger to end on. <laughs> it's time. It is honestly, right. yeah. That's that's the pro. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it there. Um, I do owe a chat a doggo though, so I'm gonna go grab them real quick. Get that doggo. Um, <laughs> you have, you have a screen that makes your camera bigger for that. Uh, yes, Chance? yeah, yeah. I'll get, I'll do into the just chatting um scene, so I'll be uh, so you all can see the El, El Boyo. So one second. El Boyo. Well. Uh, since we have people here and Ty's not at this at his desk, I'm gonna just pit my stream for a second. <laughs> Go for it. Tomorrow, Go for it. from noon to five, I will be playing a blind playthrough of Titanfall 2. I'm really excited. I've never played any of the Titanfall games. Uh, uh, Hitch and Albino have said that the uh, that the story but, mode on this one but, is really cool. So tune in tomorrow, noon to five. Mockery uh, Twitch.tv slash Mockery of Life. Oh my God, he's huge. I know. Oh my god, is so big. Right, make your thing bigger, because we still, on the stream, yeah, it's yeah. still just the roll yep. 20. No, got, hold on tiny. one second. He's clicking. He's clicking. We demand the puppers! Clickety click. Clickety clack. Come on, load your stupid thing. <laughs> come on. Oh, have a, whatever, we're, uh, we're going to count this on. double. Damn. We're gonna stupid I now <laughs> have redeemed it as well, because I have more points than I know what to do with. <laughs> huh? do come it. on, camera, do your thing. Be great, please. And uh, you should end the stream with the angelic voice, because I have points that I must spend. Sure, oh. hold on. <laughs> I'm freaking smash. Extra he snuggles. He hasn't done this in a long time. He's a goof. He's um, such a Tabletop He's so Thursday. Big. Oh, hey, well, look at this. This is like some Apex Legend. Apex Legend. Just it was for a second. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to get. This is there an image alone. that's over the top of the camera, maybe? No. Might need to bring the camera frame to the forefront there. Cam camera is also the it's just not loading that one camera. Oh, I see what's happening. It's grabbing the camera that is being taken by Roll20. Let me add the other one. Hi, buddy. I know I know you're, you're having a good Let's time. Close Roll20. <laughs> Molly's just like, popcorn. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do hey. even more, dog. There we go. Yeah, Boom. we're all redeeming it. Yeah, dude. Right, just close. rotate animals. We need all at least four. Yeah. So, uh, this is Arthur. He thanks you all very much for seeing the stream. He is my, my little boy who was, oh, much more lapsized when I first made that, uh... Party! Uh, oh, yeah, oh, party. Yeah. Tory Bird demands more party. All right, more party! All right, so, <laughs> this is Arthur. Hello, how you doing? You like me? This is not enough room for us, but that's okay. Got to give us that. Got to kiss? No, come on. Oh buddy, what are you doing? You're uncomfortable. Come on, come on, come on.
Uh, He's shy. Uh, he's party. <laughs> All right, so he's a pretty cute. Uh, all right, so there's one. Step right on his taint. No, 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 that's fine. You don't have to do that. That is a blessed pupper. He's a scrappy doo if I ever saw one. Oh, uh, your mom. Well, I mean, it, it, how do you say scrappy doo but like in a nice way? <laughs> scrappy doo. <laughs> scrappy doo was the cutest. So, scrappy doo was uh, a nightmare. I mean, it was both, pupper. right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so, so let me get the other dog out. I'll be right back. She's my favorite. Get a cat. Mine might do a while. Grab a cat for mine. Cat. Okay, perfect. We'll do and that. And there's then. four, so that's one there's for each four. animal. You motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Round the... Round them up! Bring us the zoo. All of them. Welcome Thanks. to the, the Animal Power Hour, hour <laughs> where we see all the ties, animals. Oh yeah. He's got a cat. Another cat. A dog, also another dog. I think that's it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> dos cat, dos dog. Dos, 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 dos. Porque no los. Bring Mayor on the stream while you're at it. <laughs> what? Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> she pick up Mina. <laughs> so this is Mina. Mina's like. I'm Mina. Yeah, no. She's a big black dog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, we can hang out with our arms like that if I'm so Yes, actually, very good. Just hang out with my hand. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm surprised she can fit in your lap. That's <laughs> <It's> a big <laughs> lap. Let's go to the other one. There we go. I mean, Mia, this is awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you can turn off Angel Voice. I redeemed okay. that, and it's 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 getting in the way of, of sure. just yeah. There we go. Okay, good girl. Okay, get up down. Go, Mina. All right, four? so there's four. Four. She's just hanging out. <laughs> so now each of the cats go. <laughs> cats go. go. Okay. Grab them cats. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that chair. I do like the the green screen <laughs> being part of the the chair setup. It's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's production value. Gotta go fast. You gotta go fast. Go fast. Go fast. 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 So fast. Ooh. So fast. That Sonic movie though. All right. So Walter is now f or Arthur is now following me because he's all excited <laughs> now. Uh, this is <laughs> oh, dude, Walter looks like the cool cat emote. Boy, Walter dude. Kitty! Wow. Like the cool cat emote. Aww. Uh -huh. Are you complaining? Your tail's going wild, though. So you seem like you're having a good to, time. To me, Walter looks exactly like the cat from Men in Black, Orion. He does. Oh, yeah. he does. Oh, oh no, he's all Orion. I'd buy her to meow. I did. Hey, Good boy. <laughs> all right. And then finally, oh, Victoria Bird can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's one more. All right, there's one more. That's gonna be Irene. Gonna, uh, gonna be Irene the hardest Kitty. to find. <laughs> I mean, I, I will warn you. If I can't find her, I'm, this might. I, I'll do my best. All right. <laughs> That's, fine. That's fine. We'll count Irene's, that as mine. Yeah, Irene's the scaredy cat. I'm Irene is <laughs> so <laughs> He's like, cute. Victoria Bird's like more, more, beat <laughs> me, Seymour. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> That's how I feel about cats often. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Xavier, where are you? Well, let's see if I could get my baby to scream. <laughs> hey, we're doing more? That's a fun thing for somebody doing to find more? out. Uh, he's bringing Irene in. No. I don't know. That's <laughs> that. I, 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 I. Wanna say hi? Oh, hi? No, nope. oh, she don't. She wants to be quiet. I have that stupid party song stuck in my head now. Not, not even like a good one. Like the one that Ty has for his party thing, that boom jay boom jay boom. See, I tried. Sai usually likes screaming into things, but she did not I'm want to. I'm on earphones. Do... Oh, he's making muse. Xavier, come out for me. Come here. Oh my god, the spelling on some of these names, Ty. Oh, I know, Squaliac. Like, what was the, what was the <gasps> unicorn's name? He found Mean 
Mina! Not Mina. God. Irene. Irene. I, I did. I forgot Irene. this magic Irene. trick. It's making Irene appear. You put the dogs outside. Literally, instantly, she's like, "Okay, I'm here for my love." <laughs> <laughs> she's this such my... a love bug, and she's so soft. She is. She's my. She's my work buddy. She's the main one who will come and visit me and just hang out on my lap uh, during work. She is my favorite. My little. Well, not my favorite. Everybody's my favorite. Ooh, she's like, yeah. the kitties. Oh, <laughs> I don't get this favorite child. Uh, no, not you. No, just, uh, but she's like super soft, and she's got the, she kind of like a gray tortoise shell, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, this is this is Irene. Yeah, right. Uh, and it's funny now. All of them. Now everybody's excited for attention. So. <laughs> yeah, we ruined your night. I right. feel yeah, have fun uh, dealing with that. Whew. All right. Anyway, other than that, um, yes, we did it. We did it. Congratulations, uh, <laughs> everybody. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, we always have a, a wonderful time here. Um, uh, always going to be doing the D and D streams every Tuesday. Oh, wrong one. Uh, how old is this so, game again? How long is uh, our game? Old, how old are, game? Oh God, it's like two and a half years old. Lord of Mercy. Yeah, I've, I've so. been in it for nearly a year now. No, <laughs> Lord, Lord of Mercy. Fuck, like two years. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, yeah, so two points, so. two points of order though. Yeah. Oh. In a while. Oh, your sight. Oh yes. Uh, so uh, this and every game have been brought to you by the Demon Porium. It's a uh, start. I'm starting to try to be a one-stop shop for everything uh, D and D or tabletop RPG related. Where you can get dice, dice towers, dice trays. You can get um, like shirts. You, uh, you can get. Uh, we have like tunics and stuff. You get, like Viking drinking horns, uh, diaries, writing accessories. And right now we have a, a kind of this extra special thing in development. Hopefully we should be getting the prototype for it uh, at the this weekend actually it is a uh oh, yeah prototypes uh it's it's actually live uh, you can go to demonporium.com kind of poke around for yourself you can even order and everything like that uh, but this would be uh, our first product that's unique and special to us uh it is uh it's a character vault dice tray dice holder so it looks like a book opens like a book on one side you have your um character um miniature you have uh room for a set of dice a a pen and then a spot for cards if you use spell cards. And on the other side is a leather-bound dice rolling tray. And then uh, we're even trying to make it so you can engrave the name of your character across the, uh, the cover of the book. And uh, we're even seeing if we can go extra fancy and have it, like, leather-bound. So keep an eye out for that uh, coming up hopefully next week if we get the prototype in time. Uh, the, the plan is, yeah, uh, check it out. Uh, it's going to be really cool. What's, and what's that, that fun really promo cool. code of Molly's? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, for Molly, our sponsored streamer, you oh. just hit Ken has 10 for 10% off. 10% off your order and 10% goes to building her wonderful, awesome stream. And then um, tomorrow, the code for, um, uh, uh, I want to say Vice Air, Mockeries, uh, twitch.tv slash Mockery of Life uh, stream will go live. Uh, just be Mockery 10 uh, to get 10% oh, off your order. Can we make it well. Mock 10? Mock just 10, MOCK sure. 10? Yeah, MOCK 10 <laughs> uh, to get 10% off of your order. And then, um, What's, oh, uh, somebody had a question. Fluffy Tory Bird asked, "What is what state is DM Emporium in?" Out of curiosity. Oh, it's it's fully uh, live. You can you can go and it's, shop it's right now. Website. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's more of a website. DMEmporium.com. Much more of a website. Yeah, it's definitely a website right now. Basically, only a website. <laughs> yeah. Um, there you right, go. right now, it's, there's a chat. Yeah, there you go. Molly's on it. Yeah. <laughs> and that was then, me. Uh, so, uh, oh, I Brandon's know. on it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> second, second point of order, you gotta raid somebody. Taking credit for shit. Yes, I was just gonna ask, does anybody have any, uh, anybody they see would be a good raidable uh, target here? Um, I like Double Agent Smith. He's kind of goofy, but uh, okay. that's the only one that I that's popping up on my follows. Uh, any, any. Throw me the link in. D and D streams or anything Blizz that you've. Uh, oh, you I'm know what? Let me take a look. Role play? Are they live or? Who? Behold, role play? Are they live or? Uh, let's take a look. The whole role play. Yeah, there's Double Agent Smith. I guess right now he's playing Final Fantasy, um, but he does some really weird uh, video remixes and game okay, stuff. Okay, yeah. Maybe it's probably not relevant to D and D. So if there's sure. a D and D one, you should do that instead. Uh, Be a whole role play is live, and it looks like they are just got into to combat and everything. So let's go ahead and hop over to them. Uh, we'll go ahead Perfect. and leave you leave you with uh, this Hold wonderful on. raid. Hold oh, on. Yeah. You need a raid command. Raid command, yes. <laughs> You need to make one for your bot already. I do. Oh, I don't know I how do. to do the bot. I'm not going to lie. All right. So uh, we'll get it set up uh, with the raid. Uh, thank you all for 
for hanging out. Uh, it's been a wonderful stream. I always like being able to uh, show off my pets. They are wonderful, lovely, and I think uh, you, you you all should love them. And I hope you do. All right, so uh, the uh, <laughs> Mark is setting up with the just, yep, copy that and paste it, hitching a ride. If you don't have the emotes, please use the, just the raid. standard raid one will do. Uh, with the, uh, I'm, I'm posting that right now. Perfect. So, uh, with that, we'll go ahead and start oh, well, this. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Hey, let me, let me get this other one. <laughs> oh, it's Hickson. Hickson. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Almost had a disaster right there. Classic. I mean, whatever. Oh, but Classic. It's almost better. Right, so, if you copy that one, make sure to fix it, or you will look the fool. <laughs> or the fool, if you want no to. No copy. Oh, copy, copy, there we Molly. Go. Oh, got it. <laughs> Smart. I got right. the generic. Being a fool is kind of the thing to do today. Perfect. So let's go ahead and get this raid on the road. Uh, thank you all once again. We got uh, people ready to go. And uh, yeah, next week we'll be back. If not sooner, with uh, you know, we'll stream some other stuff soon. Who knows? So. Who knows? Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> what was that? Oh, hold on. Hang on, we're hitching a ride. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? Absolutely. All right. All right. Hey. Eight times five.